everybody, welcome back to Downtown Activities, and welcome back to the Curian Empire, our Epic Six D and D campaign in the fifth edition version of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, particularly, if you need that much detail, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Somebody use my character sheet to check a pin to make it work. Who did that? Did you? No, I don't think so. Anyway. 99% chance it was mad. <laughs> uh, this week, we try to get to the bottom of who used his character Who'd done sheet it? to check a Who pen. Who'd done it? Um, last time, you guys uh, finished up the uh, grand tournament uh, in Benaz. Uh Won the whole grand tournament. We were uh, one first place away from sweeping. Perfect, perfect sweeping. Yeah. We had a second instead of a first. Uh, got a lot of, uh, a lot of prizes. <laughs> uh, some uh, spending money. And Lots of uh, money. Um, got to uh, go to a banquet in the palace. Pretty awesome. Um, um, and uh, <clears throat> right at the end of the last session, um, uh, Uncle Jalal, um, the head of the Golden Claws, uh, mentioned that if you guys are interested in more work, um, they <clears throat> can send you back towards the front lines of the war um, on some more active missions if you're interested. I think we all kind of decided... Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah. Uh, was there anything uh, specific about that spy dagger? No. Cool. It's a, it's a one-way dagger. That's perfect. That means I just have the extra dagger I need. Mm -hmm. Didn't you... Did you only have the one dagger I gave you earlier? I think so. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't have that. And he, wa and he wanted to keep that assassin's dagger, but they said no until... He's like, I'm going to leave this. So now you have two daggers. Not that we couldn't afford it. I should probably deface that spy one a little bit so it's not like, hey, wait a minute, you're an evil no, no, guy. No, no, no. That'll absolutely come really... in handy for us to make a disguise later. When I pretend to be that guy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm an elf. I have the same dagger. Clearly, I'm that guy. I don't remember him being such a Greek scar. <laughs> Says the Roman soldier. <laughs> Looking up at you, <laughs> towering over. Man, I'm sneaking. You Man, I'm sneaking. <laughs> oh, that, that's him. That's his mom. <laughs> You're different, yeah. It's, it's so, so what do you have to say about Helm's I Deep? Got a, I got a haircut. <laughs> what do you have to say about Helm's Deep? Oh, it's, Im it's impenetrable. It's impenetrable. I can find any weaknesses. I can find any weaknesses. I'm to give up. <laughs> it's amazing I got out of there alive. Found somebody you, you, pinning you, you down the, with you a You see this? Way. I fell down on my way out. Uh -huh. And it hurt. <laughs> impenetrable. Um... We want to go see the Unc Uncle Jalal. Uncle Jalal. How, how much drinking is everybody doing at the? Oh, I'm. I'm uh, the dwar the dwarf's wasted. Right. Uh, uh, the dwarf's actually testing I out his I, alchemy. So I, I don't. I don't need to ask you for a. Uh, for a um, con save. You just wake up with a hangover. Uh, do I need uh, to ask either of you for con a save? little bit, but not like a crap ton? Because I got this fancy ass ornate golden chalice. That I'm oh right, from. you want to put it to good use. Yes. Uh, so yeah, give me a con, give me a con save, but it'll be a low DC. I'm wanting to party and okay. be like the social butterfly 15. there. So yeah, I'm drinking. I roll bet, so ten. <laughs> okay, you have a hangover. You're fine. Hey, I didn't yeah, I, a I was literally, I was literally putting that alchemy jug to the test. <laughs> Do you Get want to switch the alchemy jug to water this morning? <laughs> oh. Or maybe yeah. honey. Oh, that sounds yeah. good. Catalog says this baby can make four gallons of beer. <laughs> I'll put that to the test. What? Uh, what? Salt water. <laughs> oh, God. Ah! 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 Got you, El. Get your alchemy jug. Ah! <laughs> Now make salt water all day. <laughs> you can change that tomorrow. And it's 12 gallons. I already <laughs> had cotton now. It's, 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 it's like gonna puke and be dehydrated hey, hey, shit. Hey, we needed those electrolytes. <laughs> I'll just drink a bunch and, of red And now the door, yeah. the, the door is just like... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Need some sunshine. Sure, go Need some... Non salt water. <laughs> should we should go see the dog. Um, alcohol. Also, uh, Kian is passed out uh, on like sort of one of the spare like couches. Couches. You don't really remember him like accompanying you guys home. Huh. But <laughs> you want to you want to help me throw him out. You also don't. Uh. You also don't not remember a uh, like him accompanying you home. So. I'm just gonna kick the couch and he <laughs> seems uh, pretty soundly asleep. Let sleeping Breathing? cats lie. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's pretty good. Okay, open the door. The moment they open the door, I bonk him with the staff and run out. <laughs> he definitely seems to have felt it. 
<laughs> does he just <laughs> shift and go back to sleep? No, I mean, like, he does kind of, like, he does kind of, like, start awake. But he seems, he seems at least as hungover as you, if not worse. Yeah. Um, I mean, you guys know by now. <coughs> Lightweight, Keon's, heavy drinker. Yeah, heavy. <laughs> Lightweight, heavy drink. Heavy drink. Yeah. Big facts. Uh, <clears throat> to, to sober up a little. Just with a walk around, you know, get yeah. the blood pumping, and then go meet, go meet good old uncle. Okay. Mm, absolutely do that. Just waste a spell slot to heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> Been done many times. Probably actually not that bad of an idea. Uh, in particular, um, lesser restoration has been used. And lesser restoration, they say, would do that. <laughs> That's Matty G, hangover wizard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do not have a... Um, a hangover strike maneuver yet. I have to wait till at least next level before I can take that one. So. <laughs> now, does that give you... It, it gives the enemy a hangover. hangover. <laughs> if you hit, evil. you add your, your maneuver die to the damage, and the enemy gets a hangover. <laughs> I, I was that enemy. No, nope. no, I'm going ooh, home. Ooh, it's so um, bright. I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> uh, uh, to Jalal's office. To, J- to Jalal. Um... Just give me an intelligence check to find Jalal's office. All of us? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, that's pretty good. For a negative one, I'll take it. <laughs> that is a 13. Basic intelligence? Yep. 18. Also 18? Nice. You guys, it, 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 it's a little bit of a group effort to be like, it's like, this is not familiar. This is. <laughs> I think it's this one. Recognize the tapestry. Um... <laughs> So you, you guys are able, you guys are able with uh, without help and unaided to find Jalal's office in the labyrinth of a palace. <laughs> the question is, can we do it again? Can we escape? Like, yeah, can we find it hungover? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's magic. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, that was that was uh, so, that was we were joking about that with being how you guys were going to track down Kihana originally. Yeah. <laughs> just go to go, just go follow, where he started just and get go wasted. To every bar he went to and get smashed. <laughs> We'll go to the office and... He'll call for you to enter. Okay. Jalal, how you doing? Oof. Less hungover than you, I expect. Is there, is there a couch in like, his office? Yeah. I'm going to go like just fall face first on his couch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're at differing levels, but I'm sobering up by the minute. I heard that there's uh, potentially some work needs doing. Well, with the war, there's a lot of work that needs doing. Um, essentially, what I'll be doing is giving you a list of things, and you can sort of um, hit the ones you feel like hitting, or you know, hit them in whatever order you feel like. Um, in particular, we need the Curians slowed down as much as possible. <clears throat> we never did a lean test earlier. You're, good. <laughs> You're yeah. fine. You're always... Go I'm ahead. pretty sure I'm fine. Oh, yeah. that with all that lean, you never got it. Expert angles, professional like grit. Done this a time <laughs> Don't even have to set this up. <laughs> it's That's not like secret. I set always set it up. Set it up. <laughs> the secret. And Which is impressive because that camera has definitely shifted a lot in the past few times I've been here. At one point, it was like behind you. I could explain it, but it's not worth the time it would take for why <laughs> that's still working. That's all right. <laughs> There's a city under siege called Barena that has been under siege for some time. Uh, for those of you writing it down, that's B O R E N A. The Curians have been laying siege to it for close to a year now. And if possible, we'd like to break the siege, though I'm not necessarily asking you to do that. Um, In particular, 
we've located a route used by Kyrian military couriers. We wouldn't mind getting hold of a few of them. And there's a supply bridge in that region that the Kyrians are using that we'd like destroyed. That one in particular you'll have to get creative with. It's a stone bridge. Okay. And a fairly large river. But it will uh, cause serious issues to the Kyrian supply lines. <coughs> resupply the legions. Um, <coughs> if you feel capable of getting into any of the, the camps of any of the legions in the area, we wouldn't mind copies of any of their reports or plans. Um, but that's something of a tall order. And of course there's the siege itself, but as I said, I'm not necessarily just expecting three agents to lift it. But anything you can do to slow down and harass the Curians in the area will go a long way towards us lifting the siege when the time comes. I think that all sounds pretty reasonable and doable. Maybe not lifting the siege, but hey. Hey. We're foolhardy to, brave. To quote Lord of the Rings, <laughs> certainty of death, a small well, chance of survival. What are, what are we, we waiting for? <laughs> <clears throat> if you throw him, you can't tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't tell a scene. <laughs> no, I'm not a scene. He's a scene. I know, but it's just like if, if I'm with you, I would and be you the one to throw him, him, but I'm the elf, so. <laughs> Not a this to the dog. <laughs> Not a this to the dog. <laughs> so that um, that city is in the um, Nasibin province, which is the northernmost of the two provinces that the Curians took from the Tabaxi. Okay. Um, I believe the capital of that province is on your guys' map. Um, that should be... Deep in the bowels of uh, the texts. Utu, the... Um, Deep in the coppery forest. Sorry. I'm quoting the intro to one of the first videos we ever made. <laughs> the War Machine. Aha, uh -huh, here we you go. You said... Okay. Oh, I have the old map here still. <laughs> I have the capital marked but not named. I can resend the... Yeah, I still have the old map. I have. I think I have both. You said have one. That I think says you sent it in the private group message. I just have the one I've, that you I've originally sent, sent just to me. But I will send if it helps. The date's February fifth. Oh wow, that is a long time ago. Okay, I'll I'll read. I'll resend it. You know, usually I screenshot such things. Did I screenshot that? <coughs> Not really just. Mm. Not really just. Uh, let's see. That's Not camera. Here. Not messages. Screenshots. Damn you. Put the pin out. I'll do it this time. I swear. Oh, okay, I have it. I actually have a folder in my gallery titled D and D Maps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll take your word for it. I don't feel like trying to find it on the map. He said no. But anyway, so that's the province that this city that's under siege. Is. The city that's under siege. What I assume it's a walled city. If it's under siege, uh, what kind of scale are we talking about? Like, is it a big one? It's not as large as the like provincial capital. But it's it's a city. It's a city. Um, and it's a it's a trade route city. So when it's not under siege, it's a fairly wealthy city. And uh, the currently there's only one legion besieging the city. Okay. The other three legions that are fighting out on this edge of the Kyrian Empire are deployed kind of fighting in other areas. Um, like, trying to keep the Baxi armies from like, reinforcing. The siege. Um, Do you know what kind of forces the city does have? It's, Not enough, I assume, to, it's, to a counterattack. Mm, no. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, they're soldiers, um, as well as conscripts and um, levies. Uh, and like the city's garrison, but it's it's not a it's it's not enough to um, fight a legion that's essentially at full strength because um, a legion can get resupplied 
fairly easily. So maybe destroying the supply bridge before we get to to the town. Yeah, I have another idea as well. I, we should destroy the supply. I think first things first, we should intercept the uh, carriers, the missives. Yeah, coming from those carriers. Um, then we should blow up the supply bridge. So we gotta figure out a clever way to do that. You are the two with magic. I, I have no idea. I, I, I I'd have to have hit it a lot of times to break it. Um, <laughs> I literally have a thing that helps destroy objects. So. There you go. Uh, and I can tell you where the weak spot is because I am dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> hit it here. Hit it here. <laughs> this rock has no strength. <laughs> Inflict wounds. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Uh, I think... Would it be possible for us to have a wagon with empty barrels as with, part of this? With empty barrels? Yes. Sure. Ooh, al- alchemy jug with the... Uh... Poison. Every day of the trip until we get there. And then we find a way to get into the, the water supply that they have for the sold, for the Legion outside. And we dump all the poison in there. And they have no fresh water coming in. What's and all the soldiers are... Boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's... It's, uh... Chaotic fucking hates the Empire? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> They're soldiers that are unrightfully sieging uh, another nation. I mean, fair. Fair. Which legion <laughs> is it that's here <laughs> by course. chance? The legion, uh, the sieging city, is the fourth legion. Okay. Under, yeah. <laughs> under uh, would, you like to know, would you like to know the name of the general? Would you like no. <laughs> the number four is all I care Okay, about. yes. The fact that the four wasn't a different number it means that, yeah, sure, poison their water somewhere. <laughs> okay. Why? That's a Why? quick way to lift the siege. Yeah, well. Well, he well, just, like, about. murder them all. I mean, they, there's a decent chance diluted through the water that it it's not going to, like, actually murder them all, but it'll make them sick as dogs. Right. And if they don't have new supplies coming, then sick people will have to get probably evacuated off of a desert front line, and that could make it a counterattackable force. Uh, They're getting removed city. from the front line, and we murder them all. <laughs> Well, we don't like. <laughs> I'm not talking one. like gutting or like. Uh, we ambushed and set fire to their hospital wagons that are dragging the wounded out of the I'm not talking I'm about cootie crying all the people in the medicine wagons. I'm just talking about getting them sick so they fall back and I, the city can. I'm talking about gaffy whacking every single one of them. <laughs> well, we'll see when the time comes. I think intercepting the couriers is the first step. Alright. Fine. Getting some intel. Uh, Still face <laughs> down on the couch. Yeah, you can get a you can get a you can get a wagon and some empty barrels. I think that'd be a good thing to just while we're traveling use the alchemy jug to accrue a hearty amount of poison. You do not have beer. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any more. You have the alchemy jug. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah, I want to take a swig from the alchemy jug, you <laughs> clever bastard. <laughs> oh, don't have any beer with you? Too bad. Absolutely. <laughs> we might need to bring some water. <laughs> well, yes, we should bring supplies with us, but... Uh, yeah. With all due haste, we'll get a wagon, some empty barrels. I'm fine steering the wagon if you guys want to ride horses on the side or ride in the wagon. It doesn't make yeah. a difference to me. Yeah, right. I'll uh, ride on Rapidash. Of course, of course. A horse, of course. A horse, of course. What's your vector, uh, Victor? Uh, uh, oh, yes, your horse, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Jalal, at the very least, appreciates your enthusiasm. <laughs> I kind of, you know, it's out of character moment. Like, Tercius wants to get back at the Empire and doesn't have a direct way to do <coughs> that in a way that actually is fulfilling to his own in past injustices. But he's like, yeah, I could do a little rub in here. Like, this is... These guys are taking what's not theirs, and they keep doing it, and someone's got to stop them. That's fair. After all, why should it die? He killed. <laughs> it's my, it's my, it's my plan. Why should it be me? Tercius. Tercius. Sneaky little curiouses. <laughs> They took it from us, my homeland. It's ours. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, can my horse with my desert horse with no name be one of the horses pulling the wagon? Sure. Cool. How much can I get for Freya? Because I still have a horse. That's just a regular riding horse, right? Yeah. 
Chloe, you named your that war horse or that riding. That Rapid riding Dash. horse. You named it Rapid Dash. Yes. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Rap Rapid Dash. Like there's a space. I like it. I uh, no, I uh, know. I'm enough of a nerd to know that. Doesn't mean I'm less disappointed. Uh, I just didn't name it whatever the current Pokemon name, which I assume is like Milk Carton Volt or something. It all depends on what uh, an animate object gets, Dion. You can get fifty gold for selling the old horse. Okay. Uh, I'll save my goodbyes for Freya. Yeah. Like, good horse. Live a long life, and I'll give her like a, a carrot or something. Okay. Um, you said you were, you were gonna hold off on getting armor and stuff. Yeah, the next, the, the my war uh, attire, my like open battlefield armor, yeah. uh, is Things very expensive. I need to burn Curia to the ground. <laughs> my war armor. Full plate. <laughs> chariot. <laughs> Two ostriches. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, dear God. Oh, I'd be so crazy. Ostrich pulled carriage. Probably or ooh, like crazy. I, 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 I need why, something more why consistent. Why did nobody stop that general? Did you, did you, did you see him? <laughs> he, he had two there. ostriches. We couldn't. <laughs> he, we couldn't hear the man. He, he made he his ran, own door. He came towards In us. In our defense, he only took out half of our forces before they got distracted and ran in a completely different direction. <laughs> we won't be seeing him for days. <laughs> Where's he at? <laughs> but we do hear occasional angry yells from the cliffside. <laughs> the man, God damn, ostriches! Um, <laughs> then a soldier runs up with a chariot with a spear, and the ostrich just kicks him through the wall. But your chariot has like the the, the side spikes on the tire, so when it does like the drastic turn, it like just takes him out. Like fast a, and like furious. a Scythian, Scythian uh, side <laughs> chariot. <laughs> He's going Anyhow, the kills uh, the awesome. we got our wagon. We have our heading. We know like the roadway. Yeah, and he'll, and he'll point, and he'll, like they can point out on maps. The, the what are your guys' ideas for how we should hit the and, uh, like where the bridge is over the river? Okay. We could hit the couriers. Uh, it's I worth, think that's step one. What do we want to do with that? So real quick, I know it's worth keeping these robes because they come probably come handy later. Yeah. Anything about that chalice? We need to. I think I need to keep. That's yours. Thing. It's yours. You won that, right? No, yeah. you traded for it. You traded for a fair and square with yeah. your winning. So yeah. no, those are ropes. No, I gave him the ropes. You earned that chow, so if you want the money, sell it. If you like having a fancy man pimp cup, then <laughs> I got that's pimp you. rings and a pimp cup. So, uh... <laughs> All you need is the pimp cane, and yeah, you're exactly. good. We need to get you a big chain with a sundial <laughs> on it, and we flavor flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I technically so, had an onk. <laughs> you did have the onk, and onk, I had a javelin. So I mean, he literally cool. got gold tattoos. <laughs> you're pretty fancy. All right, yeah. I mean. It's a fancy pimp cup. You are, you are, it's a, you are, it's a, you are stunting. On, it's a, you are stunting on the, on the, on the it's, 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 it's a pimp named a scene. <laughs> Quite literally, plebeians. Literal yeah. plebeians. You are stunting I'll hold on, on to it because it's, it's fitting. Carrions ain't nothing but tricks and hoes. <laughs> pimp <laughs> named Shadow Walker. <laughs> um, the player formerly known no, as Shadow Walker. Uh, so let's. Let's. Well, uh, well, what's your guys' idea for hitting the couriers? Then? I mean, How do we the moment we see them, I could use I could use command to get them to stop, and we could just run up on them and interrogate them. My only concern is if we intercept stuff. Like, how, could we intercept it in a way that the person still, like, they don't know that we've intercepted it? There's not really a way to like copy we, it we, over we have to, quickly. We pretty much have to kill them. Yeah, uh, quick death. And it's not like they're gonna like, oh, this one guy got murdered in the desert. Let's. Make our entire lesion move miles to counteract that intel today. Like, it'll still be relevant information. Um, You're just talking about slowing the people that are getting there? Just how we intercept it. How we want to go about, like, ambushing couriers. Because I assume the courier is not just, like, one dude on a horse. Some of them probably are, but I would imagine there's probably maybe small collectors of light cavalry or something that we'd need to hit. I don't really know. Unless there's a specific path. That makes Curry, it easy Curry. for them. I don't know if there's much we can do because you're, you're talking about blocking. What can trips do you guys have? Allow me to pass the list because it's just. I have. Good. I see the bottom canter. <laughs> Did you know that Mold Earth can instantaneously make a five foot hole? Yeah. And that somebody riding a horse at full <laughs> did speed. You, did you Did you know that an excellent way to deal with cavalry charges it's is to just holes. use Mold Earth? <laughs> yeah. uh, I just got a, that. There one. was. Uh, I had a, we had a couple of players back in the day, built a mercenary company, uh, marched off and joined a war, ended the war, ended like, the in, the war in like a week, yeah. as third level characters, 
partially just because of mold earth, and then one of them went and stole a king? <laughs> a whole king? I used mold earth. Costigan stole the king. Well, Costigan convinced the king to be stolen, then I stole him. <laughs> we could do Co- that. Costigan convinced the king to steal himself. <laughs> yes. And then I was there to pick him so, up and carry him the home. The only thing is, with, with mold earth, you can make it difficult terrain, you can also dig those holes and stuff. Yeah. It just technically doesn't stay all that long cause but um, what I'm saying is if you time it right we can totally make a five foot hole appear in front of a horse oh, yeah. Yeah, like I can, I can yeah. command we can make a sinkhole suddenly appear and like trip the horse up yeah that'd be that'd be perfect we yeah. can we can do difficult terrain and a hole you can make difficult terrain so they're kind of like well we want them at full count <laughs> no well <laughs> Chaotic they fall good. in. Chaotic <laughs> they Maybe fall so in that they slow down and then... And then. <laughs> they fall in. You want to throw a, uh, uh, a Curian soldier into a five-foot hole at, at a full gallop. That's one thing. But the horse? Come on. The horse man. doesn't deserve that. We want to we we send him to the glue factory. We just want to trip him <laughs> yeah. Make him throw his guy over the top. We, we open Indo hole, him. they fall in, then you close I mean, the I, again, like, like, and also, I have I can use command on at least... Who we can tell is the carrier. Or whatever. Yeah. That might at least make him stand still long enough to bump him on the head. Here. Yeah. I'm thinking that if, between the two of those things, if one doesn't work, the other has a chance to. So you kind of got, we'll have two shots at it. Uh, and then I'll be the third option, which is you take your action, it doesn't work, you take yours, it doesn't work, I throw a javelin at him. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, we're and fucked. Then, and so, I use my maneuver to throw in a second javelin. <laughs> we're not thinking of... In one round. round. We're thinking of, like, one group and then of Then I action surge to throw a third javelin. Probably, probably <laughs> at least one. So, is there a specific path that they take? We know the road yeah. that they're yeah. using for Yeah, so, yeah, so we could, you know we could just attempt to mess that road up really well. That will at least help. And mm. then getting to them, messing with them intentionally. We should also wear desert robes and appear like... Uh, like Bedouin bandits, I think that'd be a good way to go about it. Not make it obvious listen, in listen. case anyone notices. Nobody's gonna look at <laughs> this drastic difference and see the fucking. Well, you there's gonna be like uh, Kinra. No offense, but they're going to assume uh, an elf and a dwarf. We we will stand out a little more, but I'll look even even human. with the robes on. I'm gonna stand out because it's like man that. That, they either stole a kid, or that's a really short <laughs> and that man. That kid is dense. <laughs> that kid is yoked. <laughs> How long does All right. All yeah, right. but not here. They also live in the same part of the world as him. All right, true. soldier, tell me. Who killed your patrol? Well, it was a Kenra, a dwarf, and a guy who kept going, hoo ha hoo. <laughs> he kept going. Uh, they've done it again. <laughs> he kept going, Takala, Muhammad Jihad. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> hoo ha hoo. <laughs> He's just standing there in the road flexing. That's why we were distracted by him. <laughs> His glistening tan muscles. Uh, How's he doing that there sand? I don't know. <laughs> How's he maintained that perfect oiled body his entire time out here? Um, let's, let's hit that road. Let's go to that road and then set up uh, a little bit of difficult terrain. And, we'll hide uh, the wagon. Hide the wagon somewhere off in the behind a dune somewhere. Okay. Some it's, dune it's, somewhere. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a couple weeks of travel. A couple weeks of accumulating poison barrels. So, like eight ounces at a time, I want to say, something like that. I guess eight ounces. We're doing like a bottle uh, a day, water bottle a day of uh, poison. A water, a small water bottle. Uh-huh. That's a that's a cup a day. Cup a day. It's most like normal size. Uh, a half ounce of basic poison a day. A half an ounce. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Eight ounces of, po- uh, acid. of acid. So it's not going to be a ton of poison, but... Uh, how many, how many weeks will, we, will we, It'll we, be like two weeks, so... And that's just two weeks. That's two weeks that's, to get uh, to, like... Two well, no, it's probably closer to three weeks. 21. Because you're having to get around... Well around the so, besieged city. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Ten and a half ounces. Yeah. May have to be a more direct source for water instead of just like general. That's, that's officer's nearly, wine. That's nearly a can. Yeah. Of, of poison, which I mean, again, poison. the point isn't we're trying to kill their entire army in one fell swoop with a poison water supply. We're just trying to give enough of them noxious diarrhea for a week right. that uh, it, it fucks them up, and it, some people have to get sent off. The it may line. be like the main well. It may have to be like. Spring runoff. If they have like a, a, a main well, we could poison that, and then it's like they'd have to question that supply from that point forward. Right. We could also try and be targeted of like 
a wine skin or something of like in the officers' quarters, and that leadership be the ones who die slash get sick. Well, we'll see how much we've accumulated. That's like. We'll cross that bridge after we cross the bridge we're at right now, cross the next bridge, and then destroy the next bridge after. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we, ha- we have some bridges to destroy and cross before we... Are we at even it. look at that bridge. Yeah. <laughs> we're just for, for planning for that. Uh, but yeah, once... So, I mean, traveling over that time, humoring that, I don't really have anything else I'm thinking we need to do during that time, apart from survive. Can't believe you're making me go without my four gallons of beer. <laughs> your your liver will. I don't know about that. No one knows about that in this time frame, probably. Is that sixty-four gallons of beer in three weeks of travel? <laughs> your yeah, that's why your that's bile four will think me. A day. So, what's four times twenty-one? 21. Yeah, so, yeah. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Eighty-four gallons. Thanks for now. Eighty-four gallons of beer on the way. Eighty-four gallons of beer on the way. Um, but yeah, I guess we take that journey. Okay. Yeah, you, you can you can reach, yeah, and it's a long road that the couriers are taking. So you can kind of you have you really have your pick. Of, we there are there are um, village some villages along the way. There are some hmm. smaller towns along the way. We could try and there's also open countryside. So. We we could try and take it from them while they're in transit and then they might not even know like or like, while they're like at a an inn or something for the night do we know they're gonna stop though that's the thing i mean i'd assume you'd want to if we make it difficult enough before they get there they might. that being said we probably want the stuff that's in the hands of the person who's riding with such haste that they can't stop more than the, like the guy who's like oh yeah i can take a night off and relax yeah you want the we can always, this like, is why i say let's just get them in transit it's oh. probably gonna be a bit easier we can hide the wagon behind a dune and stake it out. Literally dig a hole, fill it with the wagon in there. Set up some difficult terrain. Mm-hmm. Scuff up the road a little. Build myself. Well, does the difficult terrain stay? Uh, I think more? technically, yes, but it has to function as concentration. Oh. But, I mean, it's not... But once you lose concentration, the stone like settles back to being more of the sand. I think so. Yeah, just let me know what uh, what your plan is. I was wrong. Wait, this is really long. We can continue. <laughs> In some capacity, we're going to make some difficult terrain. Yes. For the horse. And then, in this order, try to make a hole in front of the horse, and then make him stop, and then throw javelins at him. Yeah. <laughs> That is what we would all like to do, I think, right? I think, I think that is a fantastic order. It is not concentration, but it lasts for one hour before it starts to basically change back. Okay. And you can cast it multiple times, no more than two instantaneous effects at once. Okay. But basically, you can do it however much. But I mean, then it's like, you could have side-by-side patches, so it's like crossing most of the road. And they'll last terrain. about an hour. Okay. Oh, I can change the color of dirt. That's it's nice. kind of cool too that you're just like this desert Anubis, right. and you're like, when like the sand like twists underneath somebody and they fall into it, like that's that's I, rad. I 100 percent took it for that. Exact <laughs> and that's thing. pretty cool. It is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like, <laughs> throw Jeffrey. <Jetman. laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, as the uh, sort of couple of days that you guys will be waiting here and trying to like sort of keep it difficult terrain, you will inconvenience. <laughs> Uh, quite a few merchants, <laughs> um, and a few lone travelers, uh, um, who, uh, I mean, uh, it's just a short packed section of rough ground that they have to, like, cross, and it's another... Where are my taxes going? Exactly. <laughs> um, potholes in the desert. I render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and this is what I get, potholes in my roads. Um, it's, uh, um, you will inconvenience quite a few people, sort of headed both directions. <laughs> um, but, like, the sort of the second full day that you guys are doing this, um, you will see, um, two guys on, um, two humans in, like, carrying uniforms in, with, like, horses with, like, light cavalry saddles. 
um, coming down the road from the direction you <coughs> are, like that you know that um, that city is. So this is coming from the besieged city. Yes. Ooh. Good. This is exactly what we want. Didn't from the front. Line. Hmm. Okay. We lay and uh, we wait and lay an ambush and then spring the ambush. Okay. Um. They're definitely not going to stop because of the like the difficult terrain. It's definitely like annoying. Sure. It's an inconvenience. They have been slowed, but they are not going to stop. Okay. Um, whichever one looks more like a courier. Which one has a satchel? Make that one fall enough. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Perception checks. If you want to try and figure out which one is the career. Hmm. Very decent. 16. 12. 19. It's not hard to tell that, like, they, they both seem armed like soldiers, but um, one of them has, one of them does seem to be, like, laden down a little more. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Wall or hole? Hole. Hole. Okay. You can ride around a wall easier like you stop suddenly i mean if it's like a low wall then you could take the horse out similarly but the hole does that and i feel like it's harder to avoid and harder to see coming because it doesn't jut out at you it like disappears all of a sudden from below all right then basically just a little bit after where the difficult terrain would end okay I'm just gonna i don't know should i try and ti- time it or i think you should okay try yeah, i'm gonna so that try and time fall. it i i mean Technically, like, the spell just works, but you can kind of determine how you... Yeah. Like, you just give right. me an initiative roll. Yep. To see how well you time it. This isn't all of us rolling initiative. This it is just him rolling initiative. 23. 23. <laughs> you time it so well. well I would, yeah, I would say you probably timed that uh, pretty well. <laughs> Hot dog. Uh, touches the dirt. Yeah. Tops. That, that was a good style. Well, a horse's passive perception is only 10. <laughs> Which is really not terribly impressive, is it? <laughs> it means they don't have a negative to wisdom. It's pretty impressive for that horse. That's at least an average human's wisdom. It means they can survive. That's kind of nice. They have 11 riding horses. <laughs> <coughs> that horse don't know shit. <laughs> that horse really don't know <laughs> shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, uh... They uh, both of these riders will come to a horse as or co- come to a horse come to a stop. They will come as, to a horse very as, suddenly as the uh, <laughs> as the front legs of their terrified horses <laughs> fall into uh, the hole that appears in the road uh, in front of them. Um, okay. One of them is thrown off of his horse and seems to be sort of half stuck in the hole. The other one manages to stay in the saddle. Um, but they're both just like... They seem to have both immediately be like, this ain't natural. <laughs> and like, trying to like, calm their horses down. Trying to figure out how to get their horses out uh, of this. Is that initiative? or? Um, it kind of depends on what you guys are doing next. I'm they, going they, don't, to... they haven't noticed you guys yet. I'm going to command the obvious one with the... Satchel okay. to growl. So he'll get off his horse and go pro. <laughs> okay. So, grovel. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> like falling into this hole. <gasps> What's going on? This little dwarf at the top of the hill. <laughs> grovel! <laughs> and then he's like, what the hell? And his buddy jumps off his horse. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Um, what? <laughs> Javelin goes to the side of his Is that a wisdom save? Uh, the... Yes, it is. Uh, for most of their stats, it really doesn't matter what save I'm rolling. Um, Chan? What's uh, your spell save DC? Which I assume yours is higher. Yeah, it's 14. Has, literally it's literally nobody has a spell save DC as low as 10? No. If you're a spell cast, mine's a four, is, is mine is a 14? If you had a 6 and something. If you're not allowed to multi class, <laughs> if, if you had like a 5 and a stat, you could have a 9, technically. Because you get. It's 8 plus. Or no. Because you had your proficiency to it. Yeah, you'd have it's to... It's essentially you, you, 10 you, plus your you'd have to take You'd have to take a feat that, like, gives you a spell. Yeah. Charisma is the, your spell <coughs> testing <coughs> thing for but, this spell. You but know, have like, terrible charisma. But have isn't, terrible charisma. Isn't the yeah. save still a minimum instead of into the negative? The, no, it's I don't know if it, it's 8, it's eight plus proficiency, proficiency plus, modifier. plus modifier. But isn't the plus modifier minimum of 1? Or is it just I don't know if it's minimum. I don't think it's minimum of 1. I think it's plus modifier. Either way... 
Doesn't. No. He yeah, does he not succeed. So the one who is still on his horse gets off of his horse on the edge of the hole and grovels. He grovels in the I, So I'm just gonna. So the one the with the satchel is now down so, for now. Okay. Uh, not like actively entomb them. Just kind of start crumbling around. Well, them. now we will roll and shoot. Okay. Right. Hmm. Oh, A fine good. initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what I... What plus that. Plus it. So a 20. Nice. 19. 18. <laughs> 18, Very 19, 20. Roll again. Oh, Damn. here's the 20. Ah, right. 9. You still beat them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you go first. I go first? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Right there. Uh, there's one groveling and one climbing out of the hole. Oh. Oh. Throw my hand axe at him. The groveler or the hole? <laughs> the one that's crawling out of the hole. Hand axe a hole. <laughs> <laughs> that's some words to live by. Uh, Always throw your hand axe at a hole. Never throw your hand axe at somebody groveling. There's a 19. Um, yeah, that hits. Is that because he had disadvantage uh, doing it? Because right they're prone? Yeah. That is <laughs> a 3 on the hit. 3 damage? Okay, he takes three damage. Does not trigger the massive damage rules. Does not. But he does get hit. The one climbing out of the hole gets hit for three damage. Right. Uh, who was... Oh, I guess I was a 19, most. but they... It sounds like they uh, tied the 20 in there. Um, one of them is groveling. Uh, so, so I think at the end of his turn he makes them another At save? the end of, like, like I'm assuming at the restart of the order. He... Yeah, well, yeah, at the end of his turn. I think okay. it's the end of his turn. Check. So the other one, the other one that you uh, wounded with a hand axe is going to come for you. For me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, take Bring it, bitch! Um, with, a, with, a short, with a short sword. Ooh, that's a good roll. Uh, 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Five damage. Okay. That's his turn. The other one will make another wisdom save. Just try and stop grovelling. He shall continue to grovel. Ah, good. Good, good. Uh, and that's their turn. Charging over the hillside, I would like to use my quick toss to bonus action <coughs> draw and throw a javelin okay. at the guy attacking him. Curse you! Seven. Miss. Could have been worse. I could hit Jerry. It wasn't a crit fail. It's yeah, just a, just a two. It could have been uh, very worse. <laughs> um, Tertius comes running over the hill and just spears hits him. the dwarf. Am I able to get <laughs> next to the guy? Yeah, you get up So, the bonus action will be that, but then as I move forward, I'm going to draw out the longsword and attack with the longsword. Alright. Twenty. That'll hit him. Dirty. Uh... Well, I figured you'd have said critical key. It's, 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 Ooh, so. max damage. 11. He did. All right. I'm going to stab him down. Not the <laughs> first man you've killed, and not the last. <laughs> not the last. <laughs> Look, well, chaotic good currently. This alignment is going to slowly shift. I will be lawful neutral airing towards evil by the end of this, I'm sure. <laughs> Bitter old war veteran. Uh, building your own So, empire. pretty much. Then it's your turn. There's one man groveling. Um, I don't know what I should do. Are we aiming to kill this guy? Or? I'm aiming to kill all of these guys. <coughs> I think. Well, we, I don't, I we don't need survivors. Yeah, I should kill him. There will be no survivors. <laughs> is, is this guy considered I prone? The dress, yes. Kid, roll, yes, roll, technically. Roll. Yeah. technically. Prone give you disadvantage on deck saves? Uh, I don't have the book in front of me. We don't have the... Uh, Let there we go. DM screen. Let <laughs> me consult the book. Upside down. DM screen, chapter three. Disadvantage on attack rolls. Uh, attack rolls against it have advantage. Nothing about. Uh, it's disadvantage on ranged attacks. Advantage on melee attacks. Nothing mm -hmm. about deck saves. <clears throat> yeah. nope. Screw it, because I think it'll be cool mega deck save. A prone creature only movement option is to crawl unless it stands up and thereby ends the condition. Well, he did not stand up. He's still groveling. He's still groveling. <laughs> yep. Make it a Grovel at my feet. 
stamina. Oh, you're okay. Hey, they're pretty good at these. They get a plus one. Ooh. Crit. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> Nothing? S- something like a rock flies at extreme speed past his head. <laughs> <laughs> like a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Something like a rock? <laughs> it's not a rock. What is it? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say I picked up some, a stone or something. Stone. Kettle. Yep. Yeah, kettle's great. I know. <laughs> We've been real neat. Correct. Well, the one that gives so us back, back to, me. to you. Yeah. Uh, well then, I'm going to use my second spell slot to use cast no. guiding bolt at him. Correct. Okay. Oof. Uh. 23? That'll hit him. God damn. It's a spell attack with Cutting Bolt. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. And then on hit... 46, I believe. Yes. So I'll just roll one twice. So here's the first one. That's a two. 13, 14. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Yeah, you won't die. Bad enough to kill the man. And his corpse glows, making it easier for me to stab him. <laughs> <laughs> but he's already dead. He's a, oh, man, that, won't, sure. that won't stop him. So, I'm no doctor, but are these two guys dead? Yes. Okay, then I'm gonna like. We ne- we never seen guys more dead. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to open like... this up to get the horses out if they're not also dead. Okay. It'll. It might take some effort, but you can get the horses out. Get the, the horses way. out. Slap them on the ass. Uh, heading yeah. away from the village, hopefully, <coughs> from the city under siege. And I think we just throw these guys in the hole and fill it in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. After taking a look through their personal belongings. <laughs> yes. Of course. Specifically the satchel. Yes. Um, you'll find a total of seven gold pieces. It ends up a mixture of coins uh, between two of them. Um, uh, I don't well, care. I don't want them. Anything from the courier? Y- you can take them. Okay. Make, make yourself more rich. Ooh, that made my mouth a little better. Look, I'm even, not when, you, even, even when you're better. filthy rich in Skyrim, you still pick up single gold coins, just <laughs> compulsively. Hey, that's how you can get rich and stay Once rich. you get to the point where you're like, I don't feel like opening every urn in every dungeon I go into for the, the couple of coins I get, that's when you know you've made it. You're yeah. wealthy, rich Yeah, but a lot of those urns either have gemstones, jewelry, or potions in them. That's why yeah, so you can add to your 53 healing potions <laughs> that you're never going to use. <laughs> I got, I've gotten better about that. Because <laughs> you're always just going to have like 200 wheels of cheese. Wounds, ceiling. I got a lot better at using potions in Skyrim. Um, and not just hoarding them the entire day. Um... Inside, uh, inside the uh, satchel, it'll be... I mean, it's it's kind of a mixture of military port- reports and documents. Um, the sort of notes from the... Like, notes from the siege. Supply reports from the siege. Um, casualty reports. Like, it, it's, uh, you know, like... You know, uh, commending certain people for bravery. Uh, requests for certain things. Stuff like that. It's... It, it is, like, there is a lot of detail here about the siege, um, but it's kind of spread through a lot of different reports mm. and, like, mm. sort of accounts and stuff like that. I mean, cool. that counts a little. And, they all, and it seems to cover sort of a specific date range. Okay. Uh, if that makes sense. Mm. My only concern is what if we are, like, really good at our job and lift the siege before we go back and drop off these... Did we have, like, a drop-off point? Is there someone we can give these to that get it back to Jalal? Yeah, yeah, Jalal would have given you, like, a, a place. Contact. Like, somebody, a like, a place to, to kind them. of check in. Okay. Just so that they can use this information Quicker. sooner rather than later, if it's date-specific. Probably better. Um, and we don't have to spend months just riding back and forth. So, we don't want to keep these guys. Room. <laughs> no. <laughs> For what? <laughs> I just mean, just lay them out. We can't have burnies. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to make a burning pit. Do the burial rites. Throw them into the burning pit. Okay. Close the burning pit. Okay. Now we mold earth to make everything smooth. You put again. coins on their eyes? Yeah. I take their coins. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't let me see that. <laughs> and then put more on there. Well, you put some other. I just take them off. <laughs> it's like ashes smeared on the forehead. A prayer. Coins on the eyes. Yeet. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that. Kicks in the burning pit. <laughs> yeah. Three corners. Oh, well, just helping with the tr- traditional <laughs> burning of the barns afterwards. <laughs> what kind of coin are you putting on them? Like gold? Or... Uh, I think we like broke down into like copper and stuff before. Okay. Yeah, you, you feel free to break down your monies as yeah. much as you want. Yeah, because I, I broke we down We have a collection of different coins. Of this is kind of... Yeah. Easiest to well, the reason why I ask is because good. if I'm taking it, I need to know what I need to mark down. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> is Are you good? marking is them off every time you use them? Uh, is that somewhere doing, or is it more of a? Oh yeah, is that more of a character? Like, I'm fine with it. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me because I was gonna do it every time. But when it's copper, it's like I'm fine. Got with like a hundred uses. I'm fine with just treating it as a character thing, and I'm fine with you actually marking it down. Oh, well, okay. To, uh, I'll just treat it as a character thing. Uh, I won't actually add anything because I want to do that. Uh, I don't want to rob you. Uh, uh, if it's cool, or we'll just dead. do it as a character thing. Totally fine. Cool. Especially, yeah, especially if it's copper, so it really doesn't matter. You'll have to spend actual gold if you, it's like you put a gold coin on somebody you want. And like, oh, they, they need <laughs> I extra. I like this guy. I like this guy. He, does. he definitely needs to make it. <laughs> You're a brave warrior. Have two gold pieces. <laughs> Here's some cool glasses. See, you went um, to hell, buddy. I guess it's probably gonna be a little while before the next courier comes through, so maybe we just go to the go to this. Bridge. Well, first we drop these off with our contact, contact he gave yeah. us, and then go take a look <coughs> at the supply bridge. Yeah, did, yeah. Why don't you just destroy this path behind us? Just I was gonna say, just use mold earth and. Uh, pits. Well, that'll all be temporary. Yeah, I guess it doesn't last all. And long. there's like a lot of merchants and stuff we're gonna use with them. Maybe we don't need to screw them over like we did earlier <laughs> with the with like oh jeez. <laughs> Random pit for the horse to fall into. Uh, ah. uh, yeah. yeah. Drop off with our contact and then let's go take a look at this bridge. We didn't catch any military couriers, but we're really good bandits. <laughs> <laughs> we robbed so many innocent people <laughs> out there. <laughs> In the name of you, I think Jalal. I may have found well, my calling. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, yeah, and like, like Jill will kind of give you like a few different places you can go to just like drop stuff off. Um, and it's not even necessarily like specific names. <coughs> but, uh, Put it in a jar outside. Yeah, of or like, or, whatever. or like, it's like it'll be an old cat sitting in front of this particular building. Just like, give him the good, just walk by, give him the good to keep going. Um, it's, it's that kind of stuff. It's, um. Uh, but some of them are ju- literally just, yeah, drop points. Um, so it'll, it'll take you guys a few days to, like, kind of get to the closest one, but you can... Um, and, and you can choose one that's kind of on the way towards the bridge as well. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sure. Um, the bridge itself is a pretty big, wide stone bridge over a rather large river. Um... I mean, it wouldn't be a good choke point or, like, cut-off point if it wasn't exactly that. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it is a, the river absolutely seems deep enough that it would be hard to get across it without a bridge. Um, it's, like, um, because it's a, it's a big desert river, there are trees and bushes and kind of farmland and stuff on both sides of the river. Good. Um, but it's, uh, it, 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 it's, it seems to be a large, old stone bridge um there there's uh, not a scrap of wood in sight it's also not like actively under guard but it's easy to see like with sort of these major highways that you guys have been following that this is probably a pretty you common know. crossing for pretty frequent any, to any, um, well we can just set up camp in the tree line wait till nightfall and get a look at the bridge tree line we're not in the Forest. Well, he said there's like the sh- there's trees. Line. Oh, there's because it's, there's, it's there's, a there's long trees river. and and oh, yeah. and, um, and uh, uh, undergrowth and stuff. On the, I will. I'll never really like, just casually walk up to the bridge. Can I use like uh, sure stone cunning to like see if I can yeah, point? Give me a uh, give me a in, give me an investigation check. And Mulder to see if I could find. Like, yeah. yeah. Do you have are you, are you, do you have proficiency in investigation? I do not. Okay, so add proficiency because of your stone cutting. So it'll just be uh, with an extra plus two. Okay, so plus three. I think you treat it as as being expertise in it. For specifically for the well, specifically for history like, checks. Yeah, for history. yeah, but for investigation, let's just keep it easy. Twelve. Twelve. Um. I mean, it's probably weakest near its middle. 
it's it's a it's it, it you can't really like feel any weakness in it as you're moving through. There's no there's no like particular place that stands out as being like significantly weaker than anywhere else. But like you would think <coughs> that like kind of right in the middle of its span, like the point that's farthest between any like like columns and stuff is probably there. Where it's more than likely than a buckle. Um, is probably the weakest point. Yeah. Uh, catapult and mold earth. I have two things that can mess with objects. Or I guess stone. Catapult's only like a single object though. Yeah. Which are like it, it mold earth would probably be best. Yeah, it's just going to be slow. slow. And it's temporary <laughs> and you only have two going at a time. Like I it, it's I'm basically thing. pulling stones and shifting them so it's slowly weakening it. And uh, I have to be kind of close. <laughs> Would I be able to use... At least catapults, uh, like, fuck that in the distance. Would I be able to... Probably, I don't think Guiding Bolt would do enough damage to destroy it. By this time, I have my spell slots recovery. I have ours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You traveled. Should have bought a hammer. <laughs> That'd be something. Oh. Yeah, because uh, I don't know anybody that has any explosive stuff. Explosive single target damage. Uh, yeah, that's like half of what I do. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, because can't cask a fine the wine and some anointing oils. The the alchemy <laughs> the alchemy drug wouldn't make enough to fire won't do very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's stolen. Although that was a good idea. The alchemy jug doesn't pour out like liquid nitrogen. Like liquid. <laughs> uh, Hmm, hmm. I mean, it's either a very, very slow process, which can still work. I mean, if we did it overnight, and we, like, positioned ourselves where we could, like, have someone on watch for approaching riders, and you, like, using Mold Earth to, like, loosen and shift stones, and me just, like, eating them into the river, <laughs> and like, just, like, literally unbuilding this bridge, uh, that'd be a lot of work, but potentially could work. Yeah. Also, we can... Instead of just targeting one area, the weakest is obviously the center, but... We could do that targeting across, support pillars. Yeah. We'll have to kind of be hanging off the side of the bridge. Right. Also, I've got a grappling hook and some rope. How, what's the range on the Mold Earth? That's what I mean, you could be on the edge, like, loosening dirt away, and I could be sliding... Of course, they're not hanging off the bridge as we're uh, dismantling it. <laughs> it's, 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 the guy, it's the guy sitting on a tree branch and sawing the tree branch off, <laughs> off, of the, off of the tree. In between him and the... With, sawing in between himself <laughs> and the and trunk. Tree, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I mean that's probably the best way to go about it. Cause <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, up. I we mean, couldn't do that. I would die. Well, I mean, that's probably that's the probably the best option. Right? Uh, I mean, at least for a little while. There's got to be a creative use of ropes we could do to, like, I could affix a grapple to like a further edge, and like have that tied around me, and then just have one of you secure the rope somewhere else up there, and go down with that, so that hopefully a I swing away from this as it breaks because I have I'm tied to a section that's still stable. Okay. So we could do something well. like that. That being said, if we get like come upon by riders, uh, <laughs> the enemy in this moment, you I... guys will be on your own until I crawl my happy ass <laughs> Unless they from find the side the of the road. <laughs> there was three. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go water underneath. Yeah, no, I'll it. survive. You two will fucking die, <laughs> and I'll sail down. You'll be killed by the soldiers. And Says you'll you. Crawl out of the river. Every Three time they attack, the lift stone. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Fuck, kill us all. I swear. <laughs> kill us all. Very slowly. I mean, I think with our current repertoire of abilities, that's what we got. That's the best way, because we don't know us really have anything that could do explosions. I'm good with knots. I'm a sailor. I'm Mr. Tie and Knot. Someone needs a rope tied, they <laughs> come knots. to me. Someone needs a knot tied, they come to you. Get real. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a sailor. I know how to tie good firm knots. And I guess I could be the lookout because I can at least dish out a good chunk of damage. Oh, I literally can't be the lookout. That's cool. Can't see in the dark. Can't see in the dark. Well, that's because you're going to be. I mean, we'll probably have to use some light then for you to see what you're doing here. That's all right. I could just can trip light. Uh, light! <laughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, little light I also, cantrip. I have um, some fire cantrips too that I can. 
And worst case scenario, my rope trick doesn't work. I fall with the rubble into the river. I get beat <laughs> up. And so I get washed away in a tidal wave of bricks. Uh, and hopefully I'm a dense enough motherfucker to survive it. Tidal wave of bricks. Bricks. River man. Took me by the hand. River man. Um, the elf. Who moves bricks? <laughs> I'm Stuck in the tidal wave of shit. bricks. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'd like to <laughs> fix a knot. Okay. Closer as like we have what like I have a section of fifty feet of rope. Uh, I assume you all have an explorer's pack, right? Yes, yes. You can so have... we could have like two of those together for like a roughly hundred foot mm-hmm. rope. That's anchored somewhere closer to uh, where we'll hopefully still be stable. Okay. And have that be like loosely draped across and then go straight down with an affixed rope on uh, the part down. So like I'm anchored off of that, but when that gives way, I'll swing right. with the other one. And there'll probably be a rock tied to the, <laughs> the other end that'll rope. swing down that I will hopefully <laughs> avoid. <laughs> it's fine. Just, it's fine. just be careful about how you tie yourself to both of those ropes. Because you don't want to end up hanging off of a bridge by a rope. <laughs> a rock at the other end and just be like squeezed. Yeah, that's true. By the rope. So. I mean, I've got my dagger on me. I can hopefully, uh, yeah. hopefully quickly. Um, but yeah, I'll do that. And then he can use Mold Earth to like loosen and then unfix some of the stonework and the like okay. whatever mortar is holding it. And I'm going to just pop rocks out just... Okay. Um, Physical labor on that. Uh, which, way, just... which way is the city that is under siege that would most likely be supplies headed? Like... That will be um, that will be uh, to the east. Okay, so they would most likely be coming from the west going east. Unless it's more couriers. Yeah. I would like to affix my safety rope to the east side so I don't have to try and get across this river after it's done. Uh, if all things go well. I'm sure they will. We'd like to strategically move stone that's not specifically just the center line so that as much of this falls as possible. Okay. Um, you just gave me a couple of athletics checks. Okay. Give me three athletics checks. Um, actually, treat... We're going to treat athletics checks like death saves. Okay. I'm not telling you what the DC is. Okay. So just I'll do them one at a time. You don't have to roll then. anything because you're just casting cantrips. Eating uh, stones. Do, do you, do I'm the one putting that. Oh, yeah, give, give me a perception check just to. Uh, it's nothing. See what your dwarf eyes. Oh, see. I don't see shit. <laughs> your dwarf <laughs> eyes see nothing. Uh, my first athletics check is nineteen. Okay. My second athletics check is twenty-four. Okay. My third athletics athletics check is a seven. A seven. Okay. Mm-hmm. My next one. 22. Okay. Well, I think you can stop there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know, I mean, look, it's the a man's 20. a matter. The man's a, the man's a Hercules. <laughs> it's like, you're like, I actually cast it over there, and I'm just prying bricks from solid mortar. <laughs> so, some of the larger bricks you're not able, like, a lot of the larger stones you're not able to move, but you are able to, you are able to hella move a lot of smaller ones. Mm-hmm. You're able to even hella move some of the bigger ones. Um... And you guys are going to be at this for hours. Yeah. And Do I the, need to roll another perception? Uh, no, you're all right. Um, <laughs> My dwarven eyes don't see shit. Um, and the bridge gets significantly more unstable the entire time you're working. Like, and it starts to become like Sketch. worryingly noticeable. <laughs> We're at end of a dread game Jenga tower right yes. now. <laughs> um, except the Jenga blocks, some of which weigh, you know, I'm like tied to that. hundreds of pounds uh, and are stones. Um, and you're playing over a river. Um, so, when this starts giving way, you can either give me an acrobatics check or an athletics check to try and avoid this. Does it change the DC depending on which one I do? Yes. You don't have to tell me that. Acrobatics, it's like how I'm going about yes. it. Because an acrobatics check is more sort of relying on like the systems you have in place and doing it smoothly. The athletics check is just <laughs> sheer, just man muscle your way out of danger. I mean, I'm not bad at acrobatics, but I'm good at 
at athletics. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for what he would do, which is just tug on the rope and hope for the best. Uh, ten. Ten. Um, okay. <laughs> Not a great roll. Uh, Not a great roll. You will end up in the river. <laughs> okay. Um, Can I help like pull the rope to? Like... Here's what I'm thinking happens. The rope I'm affixed to comes down with the bridge. And I, like, turn to, like, pull on that one to get it. And I just dislodge the brick that it's on and pull well, so it, with Yeah, so it's... Um, I'm so, so it's tooked over. It tooked over sort of, like... Like, it's kind of the side that you're standing on because you've been, like, cast and mortar. And there's this little... There, there are these two... These little decorative stone lions on kind of by the end of the bridge. They're, like, yay big. And the other rope has, has been looped around one of those. And as the bridge starts falling, you watch that little stone lion just go... And just like <laughs> scrape over the side uh, of the bridge. Um, <laughs> fuck, I'm too strong. <laughs> um, well, never mind, because I don't think I, I don't think I can catch you in time. You are going to take ooh ten points of not damage. massive damage, not, not massive, massive damage rules. You are going to take boy. ten points of damage. Um, barely not massive. But between like before, you're able to sort of like. <laughs> get yourself right way up in the river. It's not a super fast river, but it is deep, okay. and it's re- and it's relatively strong. So you are going to be, you know, a hundred yards or something down okay. the river by the time you kind of get yourself straightened out. Do I still have both ropes attached to me? Yeah. Sorry. And one of them has a stone lion. Both of them have rocks at the end. I am going to try. Once I tumble so should, ashore. So you should probably give me an, an athletics check, actually. To now, swim? Now that you mentioned I have that two you rocks have tied two to rocks tied to you at the end of ropes. Well, there's no way I roll bad again. Why you got to say it? And why you got to use that die? <laughs> 17. 17? Yeah, you're, you're able to make it sure. And then I want to try and reel the ropes in because I don't want us to waste <laughs> our ropes. Okay. Um... That he almost dies. That'll be oh. another athletics check. I mean. okay. At least for the the one that's not attached to the whole stone line. Eleven. Eleven. Um, one of the ropes does not want to move. Okay. Um, but you can you can fish a stone lion out of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it the hundred foot rope that I am able to fish out, or the fifty foot? Is it two of our ropes or one of our ropes? The um the rope that you're able to fish out is the safety line that was going. Okay, so that's the hundred. So I'll cut loose the fifty. Let it float down with the rest and untie the other, and I'll I'll give you two guys your rope back, <laughs> and I'll get some more rope next time we're in town. What are you doing with your stone lion? Um, putting it in the cart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can use it's this for later. <laughs> this is ours now. <laughs> it's it's a, a memory. It's a great decorative piece. <laughs> Just you fuckers, wait. I'm keeping this. <laughs> in. Gonna eat and that you know what? Fucker I'm, off some you know what I'm gonna do? With <laughs> that thing is going to be my uh, decorative piece on the front of my chariot when I make it, like a sh- like a ship that has like a mermaid on the front. I'm gonna strap that seal, that that freaking uh, that lion, to the front of my chariot in the future. Just you wait. We're keeping the stone lion. <laughs> you crash that fucker. It is going to fly. Or we're going to get in a weird situation. I'm going to throw it off the back of the wagon and and take out some poor dude's horse that's chasing after us. (laughs) It'll be be like Conan punching the camel in the first Conan Barbarian and the the camel just goes down. I think that's a good place to end this episode. (laughs) Before we do, I'll I'll cast the healing word to... Regain, have you regain your points? I'm pretty sure that this stone lion hit me in the rib cage. <laughs> I think there were some broken ones. I saw none of it. Heard it. <laughs> How'd you get off so quickly? I knew it was gonna fall. <laughs> he's like, thanks it, for the warning. He's like inching closer. <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> it all collapses. Coming down. Timber! <laughs> it, 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 it all starts coming, coming down. down. The stone lion pops off. It's just like, the bridge is falling. <laughs> He'll be okay. Yeah, he's got this. I've seen him get stabbed before. That's fine. That's, hey. that's why he, that's why he like, wears such heavy armor now. Is he got stabbed once. <laughs> I want a fucking sheet of metal between me and any blades from this point forward. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Um, I I enjoy running. Uh, I enjoy playing in games, but I enjoy running these. Um, if you're uh, interested in this kind of thing, we have a bunch of 
other stuff on the channel that's in a similar vein. Um, Star Wars, Savage Worlds, um, some kind of one-shot stuff in a handful of systems. Um, that's all uh, great fun, great casts of characters pretty much across the board. Um, as well as reviews, um, really deep dives into 5th uh, edition rule set stuff, and um, just general kind of storytelling discussions. Um, so thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Here's the session where we fight Nagas, just because of no. your... No! <laughs> no! 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 Stay over there! Have you been trapped with him in a room when he does it? Oh, God. He's like, by the way, sorry. <laughs> and then just like, what? Ah! When they happen, man, that gives them rotten egg farts. They're gnarly. They are sulfurous. <laughs> that is, however, how he created one of my favorite sayings I've ever heard. <coughs> like a bean burrito, I <laughs> shall return. <laughs> like a bean burrito, I shall return. I think that that was actually from Ed Ed and Eddie? Oh, where yeah. I heard that originally? Oh, yeah. Where I stole that, that from? Sounds about right. <laughs> you damn right, the son of a shepherd. Have you brought the cupcakes of forgiveness? <laughs> and you've Son. been holding back on us. A chick magazine opens it. Baby chickens. Baby chickens are the cutest. <laughs> well, it's like, um, um, we gotta go over to the punch bowl. My big bro says that's where all the chicks hang out. <laughs> Baby chickens are so <laughs> cute. <laughs> double all day. Because <laughs> he's like excitedly running over to the punch bowl. My parents grounded me. So they took away your stairs? <laughs> that's disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Man. <laughs> Are we all Cartoon Network kids? Is that why we're so <laughs> fucked up? <laughs> the, that episode where all the like, Disney kids out there, like you know, being good members of society, the Nickelodeon no, 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 kids. No, 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 those Disney, those Disney Channel <laughs> kids grew up more fucked, fucked up than us. Now they're, they're just Disney fucked. Channel adults, and those are yeah. cringy. The Nickelodeon kids are probably the most like even keel, and we're all the fucking, yeah. cr they're all the, the creep. The moment that episode we're the, was Cartoon Network a lot, of, a lot of boomerang. Yeah. Which was old school Cartoon Network mm -hmm. stuff. So now, like now there's Scooby Doo, the Johnny Bravo, yeah. um, and that's why you're an old man. Yeah, that, that <laughs> Ed, Ed, and Eddie episode where he ate a slide because he had a pebble in issue. <laughs> yeah. um, Here. Discovery Kids, Discovery Kids, which, you, you had, you, you, which you, was pretty much just reality <laughs> shows <laughs> and not anything actually remotely educational. You know, like the Discovery Channel. <laughs> or like the Anything But History History Channel. <laughs> I, aliens. I ah, dude, yeah. I remember <laughs> when the History Channel had history on it. That's but did you know that the first Thanksgiving might have been occupied by aliens? It shows that there are no records that say aliens were not what? there. <laughs> 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 that it wasn't haunted. <laughs> it's like, yeah, how long... How long how yeah. many times should they have to ask that historian to say that it's like, yes, technically, there's nothing that says aliens weren't, weren't there. there. And they're like, we got it in one. Now let's back up and that, go. Kyle of DeVry Institute says yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's always like, sh no, Schleppy <laughs> McGoober, no, but author the, of Aliens Are Real, <laughs> believe me this time, boys. That, that uh, was, set that, is like their that expert was, thing. Yeah, are. but that was a literal like line from... Uh, a South, the South Park Thanksgiving mm -hmm. episode. Ka uh, alien expert Kyle of DeVry Institute <laughs> says yes. Why is Kyle of DeVry Institute so sad? Eh, he's probably just pissed off that he was wrong about the whole alien thing. <laughs> he seems like a woman whose period hath stopped. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's um, literally a lie because they're making well, the new. <laughs> what I'm saying is like the legit ancient alien show. Oh yeah. They'd be like, and uh, we've we've asked an expert on the material, and this guy would show up, and he always has goofy ass hair and <laughs> looks like he, you know, yeah. uh, and Aliens. his name, and then the title underneath. It was never like doctorate of astronomy. It was always. Oh, excuse me, author of, and then some goofy ass alien book, and it's like you're not an expert, you're just a weirdo who had a lot of free time. <laughs> author, I need to show you a picture that I think came from Ancient Aliens, but I don't know for sure. I'll just throw it in this chat. It's it's a picture just <coughs> worth having, uh, to you know to to throw into uh, memes and stuff in the future. Uh, uh, should you need to, there we go. Or that one episode where they're like, they found that like angle cut weird piece of metal and they're like, we found it in a layer while digging up this area in Russia that could only possibly be uh, right, and, and from there's... this period. And it's made of a, an alloy that they didn't have access to at that time, yada, yada, yada. And some dude's like, it's the tooth of a digger. No, but they're like, <laughs> like they're it's like, literally no, they're a like, fucking They're like, no, tooth. it's not the tooth of a digger because um, uh, digger teeth are made of hardened steel. Uh, and this is made of, like, an aluminum alloy or whatever, and, like, all this stuff. And then it's just, like, and then, like, there's literally, like, you can find comments in that where it's, like, it's, like, I worked in construction in this region of Russia during this decade, and all of our digger teeth were made of aluminum because the, the like, steel stock was being used for the, like, military yeah, industrial yeah. complex. Mm -hmm. So we, so, like... Companies were making these like digger teeth out of this other alloy. There, there was there's that a, is that there's is absolutely a, from ancient aliens. That was a, looks like the yeah. demon core. Yeah. As in that guy is probably gonna dissolve. No, there, there, there was like, a, like, that thing fell from space and it's like psychic and would tell you things. Also, it moves perfectly on its own. spherical. Yeah. It moves yeah. on its own. Absolutely. Now, you, there was a comedian who made a joke. He's like, could it be a ship with an alien still yeah. inside? <laughs> there was a comedian who made a joke about ancient aliens. He's like, this shows you how well. Mexicans are at, at anything construction. No, you know, because Mexico has pyramids too. Nobody fucking asked where those came from. Yeah, you know, you <laughs> it's, know. It's like the it's like the Martians came down and they're like, and the Mexicans are like, no, go help the Egyptians. We got the pyramids. <laughs> I love that guy by the way. He's like, yeah, you know, Mexicans are good at their job. They built it, and no one questions that shit. Yeah, well, yeah. The Egyptians <laughs> built it. Everybody's always questioning it. Yeah, I don't know about that. A fair point. A fair point. <laughs> Limestone has. To I be would needed. argue that the tiered style of uh, Central American temple-like pyramids is cooler than the just slam. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. Needed. Well, because Although, those, those were saying... used as like actual ritual and uh, sacrificial. Yeah, people stood on them. Same thing with like. Uh, um... <laughs> like the pyramids <laughs> Have are. I believe... shown you the mighty sun meme. <laughs> oh no! Although I will say the, the, the slanted part. We are sorry. <laughs> the slanted part of the same. pyramid is actually so, it's impressive. Back I do think the Mayan temples are cooler though because of the the sound shit that happens around them. How it's like right. perfectly made for. All right. The mighty sun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Have I shown you that? I think so. It at least sounds extreme. Yes, the so they sacrifice son. a baby for nothing to happen. Oh, right. <laughs> the mighty son. The mighty son. <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh, I'm going to go down a rabbit hole if I keep looking at those. Okay, so we're stop, close stop. Let's, let's close that. Let's, 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 let's get, let's get this episode. i got to work tomorrow. Same here. Tomorrow's I my Friday. I might have to work tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I mean, tomorrow's not really my Friday because I'm on call all weekend. That's beside the point. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Downtime Activities, and welcome back to the Kyrian Empire, our Epic Six D&D campaign. Um, last time... Okay, what uh, if instead of Romans, they're aliens? Oh, God. <laughs> it was very hard to start this recording. <laughs> we got derailed more than once. Um... That might continue to pop up over the course of it. Uh, when uh, in the last episode, you guys uh, waylaid a military courier as well as uh, destroyed a bridge. Expertly, uh, I might add. Uh, that was being used. Uh, now, mind you, my running. dwarven eyes didn't see shit, so that's not to say <laughs> that we were not seen doing this. But it was at night. They didn't so, stop us. So, um, 
You guys have kind of, you kind of have something of a list of other loose objectives or at least suggestions, and you've kind of just been cut loose to do what good you can done, for the Golden Claws. We have done two of them. Uh-huh. Slow them down is kind of our overarching objective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we kind of have three can... major objectives underneath that. Also, apparently, murder them all, but that's fine. <clears throat> get, get, uh, we can sneak into a lesion base and poison the water supply and steal some plants. That's yeah. also, uh, an objective. Objective. How good is everybody at sneaking? You're very good, right? I have a plus three in stealth. A plus two. Four. So we're all like solid to goodish, but none of us are like exceptional. Yeah, none of us are like, I, I am the knight. <laughs> none of you are rogues. None of us are rogues. Also, didn't take the spell that helps with that, so. Also, don't Me neither. Get that one. That's how Trace is a second level spell as well. Huh. Maybe I can take it. I don't know if that's why. Anyway. Um, I don't know the hour of his worth a second level spell. Software. It's a great spell. It's really it good. Is. Uh, I'm not sure how we go about doing this. I He doesn't know this, but from previous experience, I do have some concerns about sneaking into Imperial complexes. Uh, <coughs> if I don't have a city to go um, Iron Man <laughs> running through to lose them with my marathon running capabilities, uh, then and you have a don't horse want the now. Yeah. Unfortunately, they also have horses. And it's hard to flee and lose somebody in a desert if you're both moving at roughly the same speed. The only difference <laughs> is now we have things to stop them from chasing, or at least slow them down. Yeah, we might have to might have to be a little bit stealthier than normal. Probably another one of those plans where we try to execute this at night. Probably. We definitely did that last time. <laughs> well, first things first, let's try and approach the siege. Probably not from the main path. And just get a lay of what it looks like. Yeah. Is there like an overlooking area that we could see? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could you could start heading that direction and see if you could... Look at so, some. we've at least it'll, it'll broken down one from. of the bridges. Is that... Was that the main bridge we needed to? That was, was the, the bridge they wanted you to The destroy. bridge. Okay. The bridge. Uh, we got... One courier missive intercepted. We broke the bridge down. And they were like, anything you can do to slow them down or hamper their sieging efforts or any information we can gather. So, so stealing I'll any plans or... And I'll also say this can. is an extra four days, so we have about 16 ounces of... Uh, no, because uh, you had 10 and a half ounces. For four... Oh. Yeah, it's, Just it's a gonna trip. Another, it's going to be another, like, two or three days to get back up to the... If, it, if it's just four more days, you're, you just no, missed yeah. the decimal point. It's 1.6. Yeah, no, whatever. You guys, you guys know yeah. my point. We've That's probably got we have between enough. 10 and 16 ounces of poison. We have yes. a soda can. We have a soda can and... We have a soda can of poison. Yeah. Soda can and like a little bit of extra. So you two are sneakier than me. You're the most sneaky. But we're all fairly close. It's all going to come down to tiny rules. And uh, the problem is, if we get caught doing this, and my, I'm basically doing this at night. That's a good point, which I don't have a problem with, and let, I just need to find a light as a target. And so, damn it! But should taking the armor off one of those fucking guys. I can pass as an imperial soldier. I'm too pretty, but we definitely burned those bodies so and then threw them in a hole and buried them. <laughs> What if <laughs> we get me some armor? I'm pretty charming. I could come in and be like, ah, yes, um, deception's not my forte, but I can just be nice to people and act like I belong. Literally, deception Jerry, and Jerry, intimidation I'm, I'm, are my Jerry, forte. I'm real Sergio flashbacks. <laughs> Same here. I have a plan. <laughs> I have a plan. Wait for my signal. He, he cuts, a, <laughs> he cuts a, a strip into, like, a tent. <laughs> I will... First, I need to find some soup. <laughs> uh, so There's no windows. <laughs> deception and ma- intimidation is literally my forte. But I cannot do deception as an imperial yeah. I have I mean, a negative to deception there are, there and are, intimidation. Like, there, like, most of the Kenra armies are somewhere up here fighting. Because uh, they are part of the Empire. 
let's get let's try and get like off the main road, find a roundabout way, and just like get a good view of what we see. And you're not passing off as anything. No, I would. Lit- I literally have to be sneaking, like to yeah. go poison whatever. But I feel like I could probably like, do alright. This, this is probably good. This is. We always say, don't split the party. This might be a plan where we might have to split the party. That's fine. Always split the party. It's fine. Gives Lying isn't my strong suit either. I'm more persuasive and intimidating than I am deceptive. Which makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you guys can... It, it'll take a couple days to get to um, the city of Borana. But you can totally... Head that way? Mm-hmm. Um... Give me just sort of basic stealth checks to try and just find a place to kind of overlook the siege a little bit. Eleven. Ooh, twenty-one. Fourteen. Yeah, you guys can. I was born for stealth. Forget the costume it's, idea. You're, you're kind of a you're, you're kind you're kind of at a distance, um, but you can you can totally find a spot to like um, to at least see the city and see some of the legion and camp around it. If we're looking at something that's lit up even moderately well anyways, I'm gonna be fine, because that's the target we're going to. <clears throat> the only thing is, I can be snuck up <coughs> pretty easily, but I, unless we're spotted, I think we'll be fine if we sneak. Yeah. <clears throat> the big question. Um, f- from looking at this camp, is there obvious... Uh, is it obvious where their water supply is? Not from out here. No, we'd have to go in. Not for the wall. <laughs> well, that means if we can't see anything, it's more than likely underground and internal, so I would assume a wall. Or it's just delivered and dispersed and in casks or whatever. Or they have a well uh, that's surrounded by tents or something. I think getting in and wandering around might be our best bet. Yeah. We just need to come up with a, if we get spotted, reason why we're Do we there. see Kenra soldiers here? Or is it mostly... It seems to mostly be, um, Kyrians. Give me, a give me perception checks to see sort of like, just how much detail you pick out. Crit fail. Uh, twelve. What twelve? Where'd the army you go? Got, you got sand in your eyes. <laughs> you're like you're like laying on a hill watching, sand. and then a little breeze kicks up, and you just get sand. I hate up. sand. It's coarse. Um, it gets everywhere. Um, Dude, we're gonna owe people money by the end. Of this. You you two suspect that there's probably somewhere around five thousand Kyrian soldiers here, and probably another three thousand Kenner. Oh, oh, damn. Fuck. You really don't we can take them on. <laughs> <laughs> you find a narrow enough hallway, it's going to be one at a time. <laughs> I'll run out of maneuvers pretty fast, but i got pretty high, high AC. My plan is to open up a speaking. hole in the ground, and jump in that hole, and then cover myself. <laughs> <laughs> right now, just because you're scared? Or? No, just if, if, I, if we, we get, get caught. caught. Uh, bury yeah. yourself alive. A fine plan. <laughs> Never suspect. I mean, we probably can't poison Mm-mm. 5,000 people with a soda can. No, of we can't. <laughs> but if we can find an officer's tent, like a, a commanding officer's tent, and poison them. Yeah. Problem is, is the commanding officer's tent's probably at the, the, in the heart of this outpost. Even just sneaking in and stealing information, though. The other thing would just be anything that they that everyone would be in contact with a lot. Could be showers, could be I would say like food if they have See, a but if I had done acid, the showers would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, what do you guys mean the showers? What are you talking uh, about showers? <laughs> well they have like a plumbing system, they got shower what, what trailers that their that? semis hauled out here. There's no showers. And second of all, why are you trying to replace their water reservoir and their showers with acid, you monster? Weren't you the one that was like, you know, we need to kill all of them? <laughs> you know, we're gonna we make need to give them all 
diarrhea <laughs> and uh, foul gut issues. Uh, what? Is and it? kill their general. And no. At least they die a little bit faster with acid than they do <laughs> poison. Uh, well, it no, really depends don't. on the poison. The poison would probably be The poison is for Cusco. Cusco is poison. <laughs> <laughs> the acid probably wouldn't even kill them. Like, most acid is not like it touches your skin and you're like, I'm dead. It would like horribly acid scar them and they'd be in pain the rest of their I just say, I just say, more effective than the poison. <laughs> uh, I vote that we uh, try and sneak in there and get some information. Shit. Maybe poison, maybe poison the general. <coughs> so, what is our objective in there and what is our cover? Objective one. Find a person of importance, make them drink a can of poison. <laughs> <laughs> drink this. Run! Uh, or some number of people, or some location where like officers frequent and do like a wine bottle with a good amount. Of He's like, we've got the poison. We're not leaving. We're using room. the poison. <laughs> Objective I two: we find one. somewhere with troop movements, information, Ooh. siege plans, and we still I have, have an idea. I have an idea. So find we set set a diversion somewhere. I could use the alchemy jug to get lantern oil. Is it oil? Get oil. Yeah. Get oil. Find a spot that we could. Realistically, set off a good blaze. While they're going to deal with that, you, while a good number of them go to deal with that, it clears the way for you two to sneak in and gather information, and poison commander. We don't necessarily need the distraction, though. If we can get, um, we also uniforms. technically don't need the oil. I have some stuff that. I mean, I also have stuff that could do that. I'm just saying. I'm not yeah. using my cask of fine wine for that. I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, that's my yeah, magic yeah, users also here. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because with the way I'm rolling tonight, I don't have a lot of faith in my stealth <laughs> rolls. So if I could set off a diversion somewhere, and then you, you guys, we have like some sort of cue if things go south. Run! Man, I'm running. <laughs> Never gets old. Uh, I love it. Um. I think step one is we just, like, try and sneak and steal some uniforms. So that him and I can move through there. Like, it'll help us with, if we get caught sneaking around. Do we have an idea on what, like, the Kenras would be wearing for him? Like, if they were... I mean, they're not wearing Kyrian uniforms. They would have, like, their own, like, their own, their own like, issued armor and stuff. Like, if somebody, Much maybe the person who's the best at stealth could go in there and sneak in and snag an arm or set it too. Boy, I can sure try. Even just like whatever they wear underneath it, like their, their <coughs> you know, whatever the generic skirted toga sort of thing they wear underneath their armor. The, the linen tunic. Yeah, their kind of tunic that they would because not everyone's on duty in, in their armor. Right? What are the chances I can walk in and ask to borrow it? Not likely. <laughs> I mean, you could act like a servant, try and find the, like, laundry tent, like a camp hangabout, but how deceptive are you? Decent. Everything, very good. Intimidation, very, very high. So. I, I don't have anything in deception. I mean, or, yeah. I mean, I'm not deceptive. I'm, I can, I'm persuasive. I can try to sneak in and find stuff. If I run into someone, hopefully not, then I can try and convince them or kill them. Just I don't want you to have to do, like, a soul mission, but if we could get, like, some tunics to walk around in and try and blend, that could be our best bet. Yeah, I, I'll give it a shot. I can't go wrong. Yeah. Out of darkness. Okay, waiting for, waiting for night time? Yeah. Um, more of an opportunity when I see the least amount of people around that area. Okay, just give me a perception check to uh, spot a good moment, and then give me a self check to go for it. Can I make a perception check to try and spot any guards that might be in, like, on patrols sure. to help point out to him before he leaves where we're hiding? Sure. Perception is 20. Nice. What was the other one? Uh, stealth. stealth. <clears throat> that... Six. That's <laughs> gods everywhere. That's a uh, 15 hey. for the dwarf. There are... There are... Seem, be careful. There's lots of guards. <laughs> <laughs> stealth was a 19. Okay, yeah, you can, you can totally, like... 
Like, you pick, a, pick a good time. Pick a good time for it seems like there's... Snickers for me. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> Used. <laughs> Some dude's uh, fucking we're, yeah, coveralls. You can absolutely get, like, oh, find a good moment where, it, where like, <laughs> it, it seems like there's a decent space between patrols, and you can kind of, like, kind of eyeball at least an okay route in, and you can dart into the shadows and get... You can definitely get into the camp pretty easily. Okay. Um, once you're in the camp, <coughs> sections of the camp are better lit um, w- um, with, like, oil lamps and stuff. Um, and there are still, like... There are a lot of people here. Hmm. And even at night, there are quite a few people moving around. Um, <coughs> some of them are servants, some of them are soldiers. Um, so yeah, I'm going to need another stealth check to, like try and find, like, a, a laundry tent or anything like that. In. And a perception check as well. 20 on the stealth. The stealth is very good. And you said another perception? Mm-hmm. The same 20. Jeez. I um, pulled that the exact same thing. You mm-hmm. managed to extremely quietly find um uh, find a not necessarily, like, a, a single laundry tent, but you're able to find, like, um, you know, like, like, pieces of gear left out to dry, both, like, Kendra and, um, cool. Kyrian, at kind of a couple different points of the camp that you can just, like, it's just <laughs> like, is it, is he able to find, like, pieces of armor at all, or is it all clothing? He, you, he could walk off with armor, you could walk off with armor if you want, it kind of depends on what you're going for here. <coughs> you can definitely get like linen tunics, both um, both like Kyrian and Kenra style. Like uh, the main difference being the Kenra ones don't have sleeves. Gotcha. Um, um, you guys say you wanted armor ones or oh, just basic ones? He wants armor ones. I I can't wear anything. He can't I, sneak in with the gear. Uh, yeah, I, I literally have to be sneaky. Is just all I can do. I'll do one armor for him, basic one for me then. Okay, and then. Should I grab anything no. for you at all? There's nothing you can grab for me that would be helpful for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I guess if that's it, the only thing, other thing is to, like, scout good areas. <laughs> Give me one more stealth check to uh, make it back out of the camp. Ooh, that one is a 14. 14? Okay. You're able to make it back out. Cool. All, all right. right. Got these. That wasn't too bad. Can I roll a perception? Is bit there... small, but I think it'll work. <laughs> How close are we to like, <laughs> like, are there horses just kind of scattered around, or is sure, there roll like a perception check? You can you can roll perception check just for that's a twenty one. Twenty one. Um, looking for horses, in particular, it seems that like all of the cavalry's horses are being kept in one area of the camp. Okay, and it's. <laughs> You it's kind of it's kind of on the far it, it, it's not <laughs> it's not quite on the <laughs> far <laughs> side of the city their entire guys are, <laughs> but it's not on the same side. It's the entire thing is all on foot. So if I were soldiers. let's say if I were to instead of sneaking in with them, if I were to just take my horse and kind of ride along the far outskirts of the camp to go to the opposite side to get closer to the horses, could I do that realistically? You could get closer to the horses. Um, the horses themselves aren't right on the edge of the camp. That's fine. I just, uh, like, if I could get closer to the horses. Yeah, you definitely get closer. Hmm. I'm excited to see what you come up with to, to hamper things. <laughs> uh, I guess the two of us are going to try and sneak back into the camp. Okay. And we'll start looking around for stuff. Yeah. But under the guise of belonging. Yeah. What kind of armor is it? I guess you can tell me specifics if we get found out and I have to try and find it. <laughs> yeah. Um, just hopefully I do. Also, AC give count. me you get just roll me a uh, percentile that. Percentile? Because mm-hmm. you are not you are not, you are not you are not really an average size. I told him like, it's, it's like a little small. small. <laughs> I try to warp it around a bit. <laughs> it's a little tight to Eighty five. It fits pretty well. Hey. It doesn't fit perfectly, big feather. but it fits pretty. Must well. have been a big feather. <laughs> I will say, there was no one it's in there that was short like you. <laughs> you, you, feel like, you. You feel like it's, it's a little short, but it's not like too narrow. Okay. You get a belly button. <laughs> I'm wearing belly button armor. <laughs> Shows off my piercing. <laughs> Something I never wanted to know. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> my uh, rambunctious youth. Okay. Uh, and, Got a lot of uh, hair. Both of you can give me stealth checks with advantage. 
and uh, can give me a perception check. And then, uh, Jerry, if you want to try and sneak in the horses, you can give me a stealth check. Regular oh. perception, I assume? Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! 18 on the stealth, crit on the perception. Nice. That's a uh, 13 for stealth. Okay. 22 on stealth, 18 perception. 22 on stealth, 18 perception. Okay. And uh, just, oh, in case, just in case I get caught, I'm going to have Shalei. Good at active. Okay. Totally just, fine. Just as a backup. Um, you're making more noise than you'd like. But you don't really think anybody's noticed. Because it's probably like loud over there. It is, over. and like most of their attention seems more focused towards the city, and they're like on the lookout for large groups of individuals, not like a not four a foot two dwarf. Not a four foot two dwarf. Um, a four foot two dwarf? Four foot two dwarf. A four foot two dwarf. A four foot two dwarf. So like you're you're able to get into kind of the edge of the horse pen. Okay. Uh, uh, you guys uh, are able to quite easily find collections of sort of finer tents, what seem to be command tents <coughs> and like officers' tents, and, uh, like like sort of the whole like officers' area of the camp. You're able to find really quite easily, and nobody takes any notice of the two of you at all as you're sort of working your way through the camp. Never been happier to go unnoticed. Mm -hmm. So we can basically start mentally mapping locations, but yeah. I, where we go. I think we try and murder somebody. <laughs> <laughs> try and poison a general or something, right? Um, we do <clears> not. Does it look like there's any horses in importance here? Like, like well, one of us. Uh, give me horse horse horse. Oof, that's a that's a fiver. It's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Um, most of them, uh, they're definitely cavalry horses. Okay. At least the vast majority of them. There are some what seem to be kind of supply horses or like, um, just like work mounts. Mm -hmm. But, um, it's, it's hard to tell. Like, there's no, I wish there there's no the like single mine. horses that you can pick out. Because if we poison like, the shell of like casket, like mine, I could have been like, okay. recent, like, like recent shipments. And uh, is their pen, is it like closed or is it open? General. It's closed. And like brought yeah. that in. But I definitely wouldn't have brought the casket with me. Should I have an I I have my idea. Shall I execute mine, or do you guys want to go first? Do your thing. We're still thinking. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I realized I have a cantrip that I would like to use. Okay. I'm going to use the uh, thaumaturgy. Ah, oh, thaumaturgy. To, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it to what open. An excellent. Cantrip. I'm going to open. Use it to open the door. You can do that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use sacred flame and set fire to the whole thing, so the horses all flee from the barn. Sure. Just fire to try and spook them. Yeah. Do you assume that so like distraction kind of that both hands pointing in different directions like where I can stuff? well yeah like, and, and you can you can do people? like you can do some first and, and yeah and so, so like I'll, I'll set traps yes. I'll open the door and then Bury fire at like what I can guess right. like uh, just roll me present all dice just see how all the fire catches I think we Try and sneak um, into like whatever the biggest best tent is, and then um, if you're it's trying to get back out quietly, yeah, it'll be a stealth yeah. check. Okay. Uh, or um, unless you want to just run held up for leather or something, that's you know it's kind of it is still night. That's an eighty nine. Right? That fire's catching awful well, <laughs> awful lot of hay and dry feet. In here, the yeah. moment and you're in the desert. The moment that fire take happens, I'm gone. Like I'm, I'm running like a you're, bad. You're just, you're just running. because because there's no because that fire's gonna be quick, and I'm not about to try and be stealthy in this. You do, like, you make it a ways before you hear, like, you hear yelling about the fire, you hear somebody yelling, like, like, kind of yelling your direction, but, like, by that point, there's just so much going on that, like, you're not, like, being, you're not necessarily being cornered by soldiers right away. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna book it to, I'm gonna book it to Rapidash and go back to, uh... Our meeting point. Yeah. Circle back around. Uh, I think we want to try and sneak into whatever the biggest, nicest tent is. Okay. Assuming that's where someone important is. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the biggest, dickest tent. The is biggest, dickest, dickest, dickest tent. The whole <laughs> is that that guy is leaving or gone, but if he's not... Well, the question is, is he notified of the fire? That's what I'm here for. <laughs> if I get, if I get <laughs> caught sneaking into his tent. Um, There's a fire. Uh... <coughs> just give me a, uh, just roll me a d20 for luck. Okay. 16. 16. Pretty, Pretty good luck. luck. Pretty good luck. Um, 
The biggest tent seems to be a biggest, biggest tent. Um, command tent. Okay. It doesn't seem to be like. It doesn't seem really seem to be like occupied at the moment. Perfect. Um, but it also doesn't seem to be like anybody's quarters. Okay. It just. I think seems we get to information a, from there though. Search. Um, yeah. It, it just seems to be uh, a. Uh, I guess it, it, it doesn't seem to be occupied, like there's no lights within, but there are two guards okay. standing. Um, they are just, they're, they, and they're just regular soldiers. They don't seem to be um, necessarily like special troops of any kind. Do you think you rank higher than them to tell them to bugger off? Looking at my armor and looking at theirs, do I, do I buy the same? Give me a knowledge check. Okay. Just a straight intelligence? Yep. Okay. Eighteen. 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 You're fairly certain I was from, what your, from what your brothers told you that wearing the armor you're wearing, you probably couldn't tell these guys to fuck off. Okay. Hmm. How do they start to notice like the ruckus going on by the? Uh, nobody on like their side of the camp. Oh, like okay. the the word word hasn't quite because you're like because this this camp is surrounding an entire city. Oh yeah. Um, nobody the word hasn't quite gotten over there yet. I mean, one of us could distract and the other could sneak in. Yeah. Do you think you could get away with, like, cutting your way into the tent somewhere that they can't see? I could certainly try. I can try to distract. Would you rather me distract or would you rather distract? I, I have a lot of alternate ways, but I'm not very sneaky with them. So... <laughs> Some of these can be kind of rough. <laughs> How close is this tent to everything else? There's quite a few other tents around. You're in, you're like kind of in the middle of the camp. Okay. Because you might be able to just kind of dash in behind them if they're turned and looking at me. Yeah. If I come from like one side. Yeah, that's fine. Or um, we could act like we're dropping something off to be put in there, but we'd have to have something pretty legitimate. I got an ornate golden chalice. <laughs> <laughs> General wants his special sippy cup in there for the meetings tomorrow. <laughs> hey, technically we could poison that and go leave it in there, but I'm pretty sure that's not well, He wouldn't just be like, strange two goblet filled with Mr. Liquid. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking... I, either we try... Uh, we can figure out how. Just because how clustered everything is, cutting in, it could be pretty easy to get caught, I feel like, because it'd mm. take a while to like, cut a big enough hole in the side of a tarp like that. Um, I can drop Can we like slide tents. underneath these tents? Are they staked pretty tight down? You might be able to slide under, but it's kind of the same thing. Like it would take some doing. Okay. Um, I mean, we could keep watch, wait for a good moment, and try and do that. And not guilty. Open guards. a hole underneath it. You could use mold earth to make a little <coughs> divot to crawl under. Drop a dimple under. in the floor. There's a divot in the floor, if you will. <laughs> A dimple more than much, yes. <laughs> I think that's a brilliant part of the time the Erickson started saying something and then just confused himself. <laughs> <laughs> Happens more often than I like to admit. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna, gonna kind of wait for a good moment. Real right. quick, drop it into a pit, covering it, slide in, and okay. Give me stealth check. Do we have advantage still? Or is this a straight stealth? This will just be straight stealth. Crit twenty. Nice. <laughs> Twenty two with the crit. Um <laughs> Man, the dice have really been like, nice up till this point. In yeah. a maneuver that feels like you've practiced it before. <laughs> you're like standing there you're like standing there next to the <coughs> tent, you know, with the sort of like nice night out this evening. You know, like a couple of guys walk by and then it's just like hole in the ground, slip <laughs> under the hole, into the tent. Um it's uh it feels it feels clean, it feels smooth. Um, Hot vein. You're now inside a tent, and you're now outside a tent. Cool. <laughs> Dig around and look for goodies in here. Okay, give me an investigation. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Here's where we sneak the guy who's an idiot <laughs> to investigate something. <laughs> and here's a crit fail minus one for a total of zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and there he's <laughs> shit. <laughs> Documents and maps. And so many documents and so many maps that you have no fucking clue what's important and what's like the latrine duty. Is poster, there any of is there any like, sort of like satchel or container in here? Um, there'd be a couple of like chests. Mm. Chest like or like trunks. Some of them. Okay. 
I'd like to get one of the smaller ones, and I'm just going to arbitrarily look at whichever <laughs> pile seems the most important and slide that into this closet. The, the and chest walk. is, it is full. Oh, what's it? Can't go breaking it. Don't go breaking my chest. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't quietly. Uh, uh, I look for another small chest. <laughs> it also is full, but it seems to be full of more maps and documents hmm. and um, a scroll. New strategy. Whichever one of these small carryable chests that's locked mm -hmm. that seems the nicest. Like, okay. the, like it's the best quality chest. <coughs> I would like to steal that one. Okay. I'd like to pick that one up. I'd like to go back over to the corner and like lightly kick the bottom of the tent where okay. he was at. Okay. And I'd like to slither out through yeah. that hole. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> what is Percent this? roll? Did you just steal? Yeah, you know what, Brandon? You're right. Percentile <laughs> roll. Let's see. Number of importance. Okay. Like a ten, so it's literally the like latrine duties. <laughs> Fuck! So why did they lock this? <laughs> they don't want people sneaking in and editing it, so they don't ever get yeah. latrine duty. They have to put it under lock and key. <laughs> they, these all just say Julius. <laughs> I don't remember only putting Julius. Oh, on oh the yeah, scene. let's roll for it. Mm, uh, Julius. <laughs> <laughs> Picks up his shovel. Uh, uh, is it worth me trying to get? I'm going to come out and I'm going to say, there are so many documents in there. I couldn't tell what was important. I looked at the fanciest thing I could find. Do you think you can hide that until uh, we <coughs> leave? Is there any, like, linens or, or like, sacks or things uh, about sure. next to a tent? You I would like could, to, you could get some linens. I would like to slide it into a potato sack and then hold that under my arm like I'm carrying supplies of some okay. sort. Just so it doesn't look like a fancy chest. Sure. I guess I try and get in there. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for you if you want. If you want to see if you can find anything, but I, there's so much in there. I just grabbed the best thing I can. There, I couldn't tell you what's in there. I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna try. Okay. Um, do I what? What do I need? It'll be. It'll just be an investigation to um, to try and find mm. something of any value. Crit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I get out with the fucking latrine report. This man fucking so there are steals the emperor's social security. <laughs> I think I found something important. Plans to rule the world. And a key to the emperor's house. Ooh. And a map to where the emperor's gonna be on this exact day in like three weeks. Need to get into this chest. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of maps and documents here. There are a lot of reports, um, <laughs> like su supply missives. There, like there is a lot of stuff here, but there are amongst sort of all of this, there are maps that show sort of like in progress attack plans for the city, as well as like the defense plans for the camp, and like the defenses that they built around the siege camp. Okay. Um, as well as, like, you'd be able to find more <coughs> accurate, like, fairly accurate troop numbers, even breaking down, like, like, types of troops and numbers. Um, well, I definitely messed up their like cavalry a little bit. That's true. Which is Slowing very down. useful. Slowing them down. And, uh, I just gave Julius a day of retreat <laughs> dignity. <laughs> Is there any kind of pattern? Mm, someone stole the latrine duty roster. Who's that one guy who's really good at it? Just get him to do it until we get this sort Julius, of... Julius, I think. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, guys! Every time! All the time! Why is it always bad? Is there any kind of pack or bag that I'd be able to fit some kind of chunk? I don't think so. I didn't see one in there. <laughs> I mean, you, you wouldn't, you'd be able to find, like something to shove a bunch of documents into it's not necessarily going to be like if it like it, it like if it is like a leather satchel or something it's not going to be anything particularly like subtle like you'd probably be walking with a like it's pretty recognizable <laughs> a purse yeah. with a bunch of linen or <laughs> with a bunch of uh Gems. parchment uh, yeah. shooting out of the side or of like it. a like marked like careers 
satchel or like or like imperial courier satchel or something like that. Like it's it's not gonna be anything like there's no potato sacks in here. Right. Um, to just shove a bunch of stuff. Can you find the second potato sack? Probably. <laughs> I mean, you got just got to get out with it. I mean, if they, search, if they search my potato sack, they'll be confused. <laughs> You've been wanting somebody to search your potato sack this whole day. <laughs> I'm telling you, those those women in the uh, brothel really the changed brothel, They were trying to search my potato sack. Uh, Luckily, I was on the job. Gross. Uh, I I guess I'm going to try and look at the ones that I think are the most important that I can grab by hand. Okay. I mean, you'll be, you'll be able to grab a, like, you can grab a decent number of, a decent amount of stuff. It's just like, okay. it's just um, kind of whether you think it's going to be more visible it, carrying it a bunch of documents is. by hand or The only the other thing I can think of doing bag. is putting them in that bag and carry them separately, almost like laundry, <laughs> or uh, just fucking booking it, which is entirely possible. I mean, at this point, we've done very well. I still want to use that poison, but <laughs> I don't know. some random trough of water and like, kill a horse on it. <laughs> uh, uh, there's no, there's no like drinks or anything. Big casks that everyone's You can't, you can't see any drinks, but you are like in the middle of the like officer section of the camp. A lot of the tents around you are like quarters. Mm -hmm. Um, I, yeah, do I notice anything else of relevance that I think would be like, oh, that's worth pointing out or grabbing? Nothing, just like at a casual glance. That seem, that seems to be the like, like the, the main stuff of import right now that catches your eye is, is stuff kind of directly related to the signature. Okay, then I'm going to open up the pit to this drop the papers down into this tub. Okay. Uh, use a molder shit ton of sand in here. Just make it super fucked up. <laughs> You're just making it dirty in here? Just, just wait, just wait. When I leave, I'm like, well, there's a lot of shit that's missing now. There's uh, gonna have to be some kind of thing that makes it look like some random shit happened. I only have two like options. Fucking Julius broke in here. Trying to steal the latrine dude. He's gonna trash the place. Send him to the stocks. My, 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 my two options are cutting a hole towards the back so it looked like shit flew out, or I can light a fire in this and we run. I think if you just made it dirty and mixed up in there, it could. I mean, they're, they're like, a sandstorm <laughs> centralized inside the tent happened. These they're, poor guards are gonna get bent over. They're gonna get in trouble, and. <laughs> That's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Some of you um, may die. Speaking, of, speaking of fire, you are starting to smell smoke on the wind. And you are starting to smell hear smoke? occasional like yells, sort of shouts of alarm. and uh, I am just stuff saying, from, uh, elsewhere if there is a fire, we could blame it on a bunch of different shit that's happening. And that could also... It also might be worth getting rid of some of the other stuff that we can't carry. Because if there's plans that he's like, I need... I'm not going to remember these. I have all these written down. I think it's better if we leave as much as we can and it seems like it's lost, not stolen, or burned. Yeah. Because then they'll keep with the same plan they had before. If we, if you have, like, main plans, mm -hmm. that they should just know. They don't probably need to, re they don't <coughs> need to rework specifics, but we want it to stay the same so that we can counter it the best. So right. I think just making it kind of dirty and fucked up in there and it's just like those guards, I don't know, let a big gust of wind go through or something... Uh, not they can stop a gust of wind. <laughs> gust of wind? All that. <laughs> <laughs> the you do not have the clearance. <laughs> um, I think that's our best bet. Better. I have my hide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to make it. Make we are it not to let you blow in here. <laughs> on my... Yeah, I'm just going to make it dirty as shit in there. Okay. You know, make it look like stuff was tossed up. And, uh, yeah, I guess. Probably trying to put that in the back. A oh, what now? A what now? <laughs> Alright. And, uh, yeah, trying to load up in the bag or something that we can it's carry. It's more Okay. And true. Okay. You can, uh, um, you can grab a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Cool. And, uh, do we find another potato sack he can <laughs> shove it in? You could, you could find something. Something. But you see, you see. Give me, uh, give me another set of stealth checks this time without advantage. Now that you're, like, Doing something sketchy. Something a little weird? Yeah. Now that you're acting a little odd. Oh, still good. 17. Still good. 20. Sheesh. 
The dice are being nice tonight. That is an 18 out of 16, right? Yes, 18. So um, 20. Yes, you guys are uh, you're able to make your way back to the outskirts of the city. Um, the, the, or the outskirts of the siege camp. The siege camp gets more and more active the farther you go. Okay. Um, just because um, word is pretty rapidly spreading about um, fire, stampeding horses, uh, just a just a whole mess of chaos. They uh, clearly suspect enemy agents, um, so they're like. It seems like it seems like a lot of like they're sending out a lot more um, guards, okay. and like they're sort of upping patrols and stuff, trying to figure out what's going on. Anyone who's like, well, fire going on, go. gotta get these supplies to where they're going, then we'll be right there to help put it out. Come on, Kinra dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot sketchier once you're inside. Huh? Do we see any wells or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I was going to ask. Uh, give, me, just give me another D20 for luck. You oh, want it? Oh, oh, DM's die. DM's oh, die's got to do it. No, the, no, the Brody die. It's the ah. most likely to crit our crit fail. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it was so close. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Not a one. <laughs> Look, where, 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 this poison where, where, will only stay active for so long. Just like as some dude is left to go fix it, just swap it with his mug. <laughs> just go, this, I mean, just go murder there one. There are cook fires and stuff around. Okay. You know, just go like put this in the kitchen and label it and like flavoring. Spices. MSG. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, flavor. Uh. <laughs> If we can find somewhere to put the poison that'll hurt <laughs> them somehow, why not? It's more of a problem than it is helping now. You I can just catapult it into some Because could absolutely find something to pour it into that you're reasonably certain would be consumed. Let's do that. Because here's the thing. Even if we just, like, pour half the can into, like, one cooks, like, one stew on a fire and another half into, like, you know, a, a tub of water that's got, like, a scooping ladle next to it. Mm -hmm. Like... They have to now question every oh. single thing they eat and drink if any of it's poison. So, either water or the number one thing that they eat. I think just like any like drinking trough or give me a, give uh, me a, cook give fire me a, that we run Give by. me a stealth check to just uh, try and quietly... Uh, I think you had the poison, we'll say. Put the poison into a... Ooh, that's not good. It is a six. Six? Um, so like... So, like, the the first, like, kind of, like, it's, like, perfect, I called it a stool. Mm -hmm. um, like, the first thing, as you're going to pour it in, a soldier sort of responding to all of the, like, yelling comes out of the tent right next to the cook fire and sees you, like, like, with a, like... Questionable like, jar. Pouring something from a questionable jar into... What all uh, equipment do we have on us? Weaponry wise. What did you bring? Whatever would look normal, so probably like a long sword. Yeah, I'm just gonna say my daggers for sake yeah. of ease. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. I mean, I'm nearby. Yeah. Do we? What? What's like the timing of this? Who do I notice? Who gets to react first? It depends on it depends on what you're trying. What, to what do. are you trying to do? Yeah. You, you could you could probably. I'm gonna play it off like nothing. It's just like, how's it going? Stir, stir. Hey, I mean, he demands stir. to know what you're doing. And Mixing. I'm going to act Whatever like the I just. Hell this is. I'm gonna act this. like I just happen to be here, and then like look and walk over, hearing this. He'll start. Um. He'll he'll like I mean it's like, he'll demand to know like what it is, where you got it, like... No clue from a guy that cooks. I was told to put this in here. He's... He's... He, he, he kind of sees you approaching and kind of, like, motions you over. Um, I'm gonna set this, the supplies right. down and kind of set a hand on the blade and, 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 and over. He pretty much just tells you, like, grab a hold of him. <laughs> These Kinra. Why do we even have them here with us? What's going on? And I'm gonna like put a, some hand, a hand on your shoulder. You're like, no. you're 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 reaching the point where you're like, I rode all the way over there, set fire to the shit, and these bastards rode all, still all the way back, and there's nobody. Here. I'm gonna draw the sword out and then right. put the other hand on his shoulder and be like, you stay right here. Okay. Um, he's gonna like take the jar from you. Or did you just pour the whole jar in there? Yeah. 
Okay, he's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna take the driver. He he does not he's not stupid enough to be like. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, I rolled for that. Uh, but he he imme- he immediately seems to be like hmm. this is probably poison. Uh, um, and he and he and he essentially like tells you he's like he's like you're gonna take us to this cook that gave this to you. All right, he all right he went off that way. I I let go of the shore, pushing him forward, and be like. Okay, he, yeah, he's so he's like, well, he's gonna, he's walking, he, he, like he's expecting like you to lead. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I'm saying no, him. I'm like pushing him off from the handle and like lead the way. Uh, <laughs> and then, and then I'm going to be moving my hand to this guy's shoulder <laughs> next to me and sliding my blade into him. Okay, um, trying I'll, to be as quiet as I can. Uh, I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a surprise round there. I think. Okay. Do I get advantage? Does he not see this coming? Uh, yeah, he's not going to see it coming. Okay. His, eyes, his eyes are on the suspicious dog man. I mean, jackals aren't really dogs. Okay, it's fine. Uh, that'll be a 20. That'll hit him. And I'm going to harder. make that a distracting <laughs> strike. <laughs> hey, are you I'm distracted just... by this? <laughs> Pretty distracted. The, dwar- the dwarf's like... <laughs> something feels off. <laughs> that is Rabbit, yes. what, Rabbit Ash, 11 you, damage. Uh, how much? 11. That'll kill him. Okay, so I'm going to like slide the blade in, and, like, and I'm going to grab him, and I'm just trying to pull him and okay. like, give me give a back stealth check to try and uh, hide his body without uh, anybody uh, else. A pit? <laughs> <laughs> My stealth oh, check's fuck. a 6. A 6? Um, so you... So it is, it is this like... I mean, my plan was just to like... Slide him back into the tent he came from. Right, uh, so, but, like, you've kind of taken a couple steps away from the tent. So mm-hmm. it is this, like, it is this perfectly clean, like, it's like, it's like, old, old Aventus would be proud of you, the way you grabbed his soldiers. No, and him back. <laughs> How the dice have turned. Um, and, yeah, it's this, and it's this, and it's, like, and you, like, you, like, you, like, you sink the blade, and it's, like, this man is dead. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, like, you're, Good. like, you don't, you don't necessarily like that feeling of how confident you are that it's just like, yep, woman done. Mm-hmm. And like, as, but it's like, it's like he's dead. Blast as you're right. laying him down, though, there's an immediate like, hi! But there's, there's a guy and like, like who's there's, like, and it, the, well, like, and it seems, it seems like there's enough activity going on that like, somebody sort of yelling like, he just killed that man, gathers a lot of attention very quickly. This is literally an Assassin's Creed moment where, like, you try to be stealthy this... and the game says, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do we tunnel out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tunnel this tunnel's out. been great. <laughs> no, I don't think that's going to work. You just do a five-foot tunnel every six <laughs> seconds. And you're just like, you both just go into the ground. Like, <laughs> Let's what? do the Minecraft thing. Dick straight down for a block over our heads. Uh, and hope no one drops in here before we can seal the roof above us. Um... I would like to call out, because he's like, hey, you just killed yeah. him. Like, he's like, hey, you just killed him. What's going on? Like, yeah, yelling something yes. like that, there's, right? And it there seems to gather a lot. I'd like to try and yell, him. he was pouring poison into the food. <laughs> we have to check the whole camp for insurgents. Give a deception check. Probably. <laughs> give, a, give me an important <laughs> No, no. no. Deception. Can I help him with that, being proficient in deception? No. <laughs> no, because I'm the one saying it. 18? 18. Ooh. 18 is pretty it's good. It's pretty good deception. It's not good enough, though. <laughs> so, they, they, so, um, well, let's do an insight. Okay. That's fair. Contest me. 18. Do we have to re-roll? Or? I mean... Quite often in this we re-roll, like... If it's a tie on, like, skill stuff? Like, yeah, like, you you quite... Uh, like, usually it's, like, essentially what you're doing is establishing the DC. Mm-hmm. But, like, okay, I that's think it's... I, uh, but I also think it's fine to... I also think it's fine to re-roll. You're the boss. You tell um, me what it is. I mean... You still have your inspiration? Nope. <laughs> no, I <it's, laughs> I would have used it on that stealth I think, check. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to rule this as, like, what you're doing is <coughs> establishing the DC. Okay. And what they're doing is making an insight check to try and match or beat it, and that's what they've done. Okay. Um, so it's essentially a kind of a repeat of the, like, grab that man, but it's like, but now it's being yelled much more forcefully and to a much larger number of people. 
like just yeah, run, there's, man. There's, 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 you guys can out, you like, guys can probably like, outrun like, 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 them. Like, 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 drop well, the, drop, does, drop the weapon. Because he was out of, does, does it seem like he knows he's involved in this? Like, is he it still close enough? It seems like what they noticed was you murdering a man. Not necessarily, not necessarily him. Not necessarily him. Uh, so if I tumble the body towards him and just book it, <laughs> <laughs> then, good luck. <laughs> okay. I guess. I'm going to just be like, when he's like, still yeah, I'm just, I'm yeah. just. Right. Um, some people are going to chase you, yeah. and um, there will also be like people in your way, and there are going to be ranged attacks and yeah. whatnot. Um, Just got to try. Yeah, we got it. We made so it far. Let's uh, do. I'll so give you the first thirty-five feet of movement. Okay. Um, but then we're going to do initiative. Okay. I think. Um, I should draw them away welcome, from you at least. You're welcome to roll initiative if you want to participate in this. You're also welcome to... I think you pick up uh, the second sack and you get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Because uh, I roll that. initiative to see if I'm part of this. You can roll me a perception check to see if you <laughs> notice the chaos. Let, let's see if I notice this chaos before we have... It, it, is, it is a ways from you, so it's not going to be an easy check. Necessarily. That is a 22. 22. There's definitely a bunch of shouting going on down there. At the moment... It's hard to tell whether it's just about the fire, um, which you can tell it from here is blazing merrily. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I stare proudly at my work. Um, so you're not going to be able to participate this round. Um, I will make my way down to like but help. You, just yeah, to... like, uh, but like in a in a like, and even once you're like in initiative, and you're you're going to be very separated. Yeah, because uh, he's still like pretty. Um, so, uh, did you roll initiative, or... I no, we, we, so were, we were waiting for me. the first 35 feet, and then... Yep, you'll get the first 35 feet. Of decent initiative, part. decent initiative. If only the stealth was good. That's... That's 18 on my initiative. The sort of initiative I would expect from... 20, 21. <laughs> Average? Yeah. <laughs> Average to slightly above? <laughs> 10, yeah. It's just... It's what um, so, are there horses, like, stampeding through the camp right now? No, not on, not on this side of the camp. They're all on the opposite side where they were stationed. And mostly running out into the desert night. And being a huge nuisance. <coughs> I think I'm just running then. Like, I, I, I don't think... I, if I see an opportunity to try and double back or, like, lose people and hide, I'd love to take it. But okay. I feel like I don't have a horse to try and run and, like, grab a hold of as it's stampeding mm -hmm. through or anything like that. I think it's just running. Okay. Um, there's going to be a lot of yelling of, like, like grab that elf, like, and they're like, they're like yelling descriptions and like, just because of the way yelling works, um, that is traveling through the mm -hmm. the camp very quickly. But also a lot of people uh, aren't necessarily reacting quick enough to like. I'm to also, get yeah, I'm gonna be riding Rapidash down there. Okay. To just try and get quickly. It, it, yeah, the, it gives you a quick way of getting out of town if you need it. Yeah. A very quick way. Uh, <laughs> room for one Are more. You just picking up. Uh, yeah, I'm grabbing those bags. You're just waiting for the chaos to die down a little right bit. Right now, I'm just going to... Just act like a use, servant. Like... Use my initiative to basically, <laughs> like, oh, shit, I'm getting out of here. Give me a give me a deception check. Come on, Bernie, think. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Let it just... It was 11. Uh, deception is 15. Okay. Uh, it seems like there's enough going on, and they, uh, they have a dead man, uh, yeah. that they're not taking immediate notice of you. I have uh, longer sacks, so I just <laughs> need to get the hell out of here. Um, as you just uh, uh, head on out. Um, there will be a, um, a one javelin thrown at you and okay. one um, uh, like arrow shot at you. And somebody's going to get up to you but not make an attack. Okay. Um, um, what am I in? Because I'm not in my gear. Determining like how hard it is to hit. It's going to be the equivalent of, I believe, a chain shirt. Okay, I think that's going to be fifteen or fourteen. Yeah, the equivalent of a chain shirt. Is that fourteen? Sure. Okay. It should. So yeah, I think, it should. It should, it should and should I'm be guessing I don't have a shield. It's either fourteen plus dex or thirteen. I definitely would have brought my shield with me because it stands out. So I don't think I have a shield, unless he stole a shield too. He would not have stolen shit. Chain shirt is 13 plus dex. 13, okay. So I am not as tanky as normal, but that's just fine. It'll be great. It's good. Um, okay, uh, I'll start with the, um, start with the javelin. 
Okay. And then we'll do the uh, buff. Okay. The javelin is like an 11. <laughs> the bow <laughs> is a 10. <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Um, and one, and there is a soldier who will like, like, like get in the way. Kind of, kind of, kind of, yeah, get get in the way, but um, I'd like because to use, of that won't be able to make an attack. I'd like to use my action to try and push him, sure. so I can do a like a ten foot shove, so he doesn't get an attack opportunity on me and okay. keep running. That's uh, just con- like contested athletics, athletics I think, or he could choose to do acrobatics. I think maybe it's the same either way. Okay, fourteen. The man stands like a rock. Then I just keep. I try to push him, and I keep okay. running, and he'll get attack opportunity. I can't stop and fight everybody who gets uh, in the way. That is a twenty to hit. That will definitely hit. Man, this guy is a good soldier. <laughs> He's doing his job. A crit followed Admirably. by a seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> Three damage. Okay. Yeah, I laugh at him. <laughs> it's not all that much. That was from our previous. That was from me falling into the water. I don't. I assume I don't have those wounds anymore. Yeah. Well, and I also used my. So yeah. Then I'm just gonna book it. Keep going. Okay. Um, also, I guess here. Yeah, here. Um, you can get fairly close to the edge of the camp. If you want to go any farther, you're gonna have to do a stealth check, and it's gonna be hard on horseback. Yeah, um, I probably won't do stealth. Uh, how far from the camp would you say I am? I'd say you're probably. 30 feet from the edge of the camp at this point. But you're getting to the point where if you go any farther, like, You'll be someone's going to notice you. Give me a second. Even 30 feet is probably pushing it. But mm-hmm. In the darkness. As soon I as am, see, uh, you're like, God damn, that guy. I'm going to cast uh, Sacred Flame on, like, the one of the nearby tents that I'm, not, like, that okay. I'll ride past. Okay. Just give me another, uh... Um, How close to me is he? Um, just, just give me another, uh... uh Percentile, uh, to see how well the plan catches. A four. Four? It's not, it's, well, actually, it's not, would it's that count that's a zero a four. four? Yeah, yeah it, four. Kind, it kind of... If you've gotten a zero instead of the four in that, that's a hundred. It kind of, it kind of chars up one of the tents, but it doesn't, like, immediately catch it on fire. Okay, so nobody noticed it. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of just hang along the outskirts here. Okay. Like... I don't, I assume still running through here, I don't see him yet. <laughs> no, I'm just are, trying to... You are still firmly I'm just trying to make in it. the, uh... Yeah. Um, it's going to be the same thing. going to be a couple of range attacks, Kay. and a soldier's going to uh, try and get away. Okay. Um, it's not going to be the same guy. Because he, he can't just, catch up to me. Because um, if he does his 30 foot movement, I'm still five ahead. Unless he's got a reach weapon. I'm no, but, he, uh, but you used your action to try and shove him. But I'm five foot further. So, like, for him to get next to me, if we were already next to each other, and I move 35, he moves 30, can he still make an attack? He made an attack of opportunity against you. When you ran away from him, so he can't yeah. make an attack. Oh, but he he's gonna dash him. like he can yeah. get up and get close. Yeah, I see yeah. what you're saying. So in that case, there will be two soldiers but, adjacent. Okay, because there will be because the one behind you, uh, the man who stood like the Rock of Gibraltar, uh, can catch up to you, and there will be another one. Okay. Uh, that's a fourteen. Nope. On the, on Just the misses. Just misses. Still pretty dexterous, at least. Six. Yeah, these guys suck at ranged attacks. Uh, and, then, <laughs> Fucking... um, and then a couple of people will... Uh... They're, they're going to get close. I'm going to use my action to shove not Rocket Gibraltar guys. <laughs> Although he's going to fucking stab me for three damage again. So I'm going to try and shove uh, the other guy who got yeah, next to me to, so that he doesn't get the attack of opportunity. Uh, that's a 19. That'll move him. Okay, so I'm going to push him out of the way. Okay. And I'm still running, so one want an opportunity attack. Uh, 19? 19 hits. This guy's aiming for a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, that's 6 damage. 6 damage, okay. I don't think it's possible for these guys to trigger massive damage on you. Unless, unless they crit. They crit. <laughs> um, and with that, I'm 9 down. Most I mean, max I could do is 12. I, I, I don't think that. it's worth saving. Poison I'm going to uh, bonus <laughs> action second wind here. Okay. Just to try and keep myself yeah. topped off. And I did max, so I'm back to full. Hot damn. I should have saved it if I was going to roll that, because I could have gotten three more hit points. But that's fine. Uh, no, two more hit points. But it's fine. Uh, no, no. Anyway, running. Okay. I'm um, running. And you know what? Uh, how close to the edge of camp do I think I am? Like, it's hard. To, you're in a sea of tents. Okay. You're pretty sure you're running in the right direction, <laughs> but it's hard to tell how far the edge is. Do I feel like if I covered more ground this round that there'd be, like, 
there wouldn't necessarily be these ranges that are like people getting up next to me if I doubled my movement here. Um, you think you might be able to kind of keep people from getting in your way a little bit? Okay. You don't know about the ranged attacks. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, action surge dash so that I can get away from the close people that are okay. trying to grab and get close and try Because these ranged guys haven't done well so far and try and get, a, get ahead. I'm going to sure. use my action surge to get out of there. Start seeing Hercules just fucking... I'm just like, up. shove this what? guy, get like... <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> and I just do like do an all-out sprint to try and burn some distance he's between a, me and them. He's a fast man. I'm a fast dude. Also, you remember man. how you said I don't want to do what I did last time? <laughs> I did exactly what I did last time. This except, is exactly. Except these guys have ranged attacks. <laughs> and then get tired after 100, 200 yards. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just trying to burn out and get away, especially yeah, 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 from yeah. Promotion Hunter over there. That dude's <laughs> no, no fucking joke. Uh, anybody else trying anything for uh, uh, on your turns? Uh, I'll try once again, cast right. Shaker Flame on the tents. Yeah, just give me uh, I'm just going to try and get as far as I can to get out. That is a 94. Right, that tent goes <laughs> up in flame. <laughs> um, this you, is the oil tent. You see a glow off in the uh, distance, that is. Um... Ah, <laughs> insurgency! I'm running that direction! <laughs> um, you are, uh, the camp's in a panic. There's yelling, there's yelling about fire, there's yelling about saboteurs, there's yelling about assassins, it's, there's yelling about approaching armies, it's just like, <laughs> it's nobody, all gonna yeah, no, it's real it's, <laughs> approaching armies, it's just, an the elf killed a soldier! An army's attacking the camp. <laughs> <laughs> <And> everyone, <laughs> um, to arms. It's uh, everybody is everybody is to arms. Uh, everybody seems to be strapping on armor. Everybody seems to be like trying to contain. Thank God you, you stopped them from having cavalry, so we have a chance <laughs> oh, shit, to get on a horse that. and run the um, fuck away. But nobody's. <laughs> Really taking all that much notice of you, so some and, uh, random kid who's just like, I'm just a delivery guy. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. excuse me. Trying to get get out of here. Fuck no, this just, working, <laughs> just working your way generally towards the outskirts of the. Uh, okay. um, so I guess there will be uh, there'll be one more um, bow attack and one more javelin attack at you. Okay. But the, you are nobody. Nobody's, nobody's nobody's really all that capable of getting in your way at this point. I'm, my hope is that I'm running faster than the word of mouth right now, <laughs> so that the people I'm running past are like, hey, <laughs> not get him, you know? You don't even notice whether or not a javelin was just out of <laughs> I mean, in his defense, I cover a lot of distance. Dude you know, that's a lot of ground. That's, that's a lot of range of the javelin. You don't also don't notice whether or not a bow was shot. Covered a lot of distance, you know, there's a lot of tits. Dude Some spikes the dude in the with the bow, the bow shoots the ground. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Um... <laughs> 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 there it is. Um, <laughs> Anyone uh, gets in my way, just drop, drop the head and scoop them so out of the way. You are going to be able to get like the last sort of hurdle, and the last sort of soldiers that are going to have an opportunity to like make an attack at you are the soldiers on patrol at the edge of the camp. Okay. Do Who's, I notice them? Um, you've noticed them around, okay. um, but they're like um, some of them are like. Um, and some of them seem to have noticed a mysterious rider riding off into the desert after setting fire to a tent. Um, and it's I'll also, a, like, I'll make a backtrack for him. Right, and it's kind of the same thing where it's like people are yelling at you to stop, but they don't really have a way of getting you to do that. Yeah, um, I'd like to see them fucking try. So you're going to have to get past two more soldiers at the edge of the camp. Okay. Um, but those, you know, beyond them, you can see open desert. Okay. Um, uh, hmm... And I don't feel like there's people super close behind me. There's definitely people chasing you. It doesn't seem like they're close. Okay. At least not like... They might be a round or two behind you, but they're not like... They're not pretty like those connected. left. I'm faster than these boys. I mean, they can dash, but... I don't think I have enough time to kill two people. And I think if I can get to the horse, that's my best bet. Uh... Reaction surge to not get got by the last guys when I don't have it to get these guys. Uh, I think my best bet's to probably at least kill one of them uh, this first round since I'm going to be running up to them anyways. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to dash. I'm just going to run up and uh, I'm going to uh, attack right. one of the two. But I, uh, but I notice this or do I have to like... You'll, you'll, you'll see him like rushing. You're coming up after the soldiers. That's a miss. Seven. That'll no, miss. Okay. That's it. They're, they're right? at the bottom of the initiative order. Yeah. So. Yeah. so, 
How how far am I from those two? Um, fifty feet, sixty feet, somewhere there. Okay, so that's out of the question. I mean, you, you are on an extremely fast horse. You can move yeah. up to them. You can move up. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Long live the dwarf, he says. And he off the <laughs> Long live the dwarf. <laughs> Leaves you to fight the soldiers on your own. It too. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Ca- I'm gonna use one of my spell slots. Cast guiding bolt. Okay. On one of them. Probably the one he's attacking to clear him a lane. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, crit fail. Do I hit Swear him? to God, if you give him advantage on me, <laughs> you son no. of a bitch. I'm trying to help. <laughs> we'll see, there's a chance. There's a chance. Roll, a, roll another d20. Oh, it's an attack roll on me. It is an attack roll. Fucking fuck up again. Okay, do that. I rolled a... It's an eight. It's a six. Okay. So it's a twelve. That right. misses me. It misses you. Not on my by Not much. <laughs> but but now they but now they're probably aware of somebody from yes. behind. I don't I didn't notice this horse at first and like a bolt of energy goes above me and I'm like and then I see him and I'm like, Careful wolf! They have a wizard somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's wholeheartedly convinced that they're like, There's a magic guy somewhere. <laughs> Uh, Help me deal with these two and keep an eye out for the wizard. Okay. <laughs> uh, I assume Brandon, you're just uh, <laughs> figure out your way out of camp. Yep. Man, crazy, right, guys? <laughs> I'm just delivering these packages, <laughs> these sacks. It's weird that I got here at nighttime, right? <laughs> You've you never would, seen. You wouldn't believe the traffic. So fast, <laughs> you fucked up the road, <laughs> yeah. blew up a bridge. <laughs> Man, I do not get paid enough for this. <laughs> I do not get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> uh, then it's is it them? It's them because he's still going. And yeah, they're both gonna attack you. Of course they the are. One. Yep, I am. That I am. Uh, does a twenty-two hit you? A twenty-two? Why that does hit me? In fact, that does. Stabbing at you with a spur for two damage. Ooh, perfect. Okay, now the other. Wunderbar. That does not trigger massive damage. How about 21 to hit? 21 also hits. Ow. Ow. <laughs> For two <laughs> Hey. Still no massive damage. Uh, hey, these guys are jokesters. You're within eye shot of him. How far away from me is he? About, about 60 feet, you yeah. said? So you did not move any closer. 60 feet? Yeah. I can get at least 20 feet if, off on horseback, because uh, my riding horse gets goes about 40 I'm gonna swing. Or actually, the, the, I don't the riding know. horse. The riding horse. I could get. I could probably get to you in one room. You're riding an extremely fast. It's a horse. seventy speed horse. You can. You can. You I can, can, can make that ground up. No. Uh, no yeah, problem. You, you I'm gonna swing at one of these guys. I'm yeah. gonna just fucking stab me for two damage. Oh wait, that's both of them. Another seven. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just gonna. I'm gonna like. Just, just ah, fuck it. And yeah. You're gonna act before they do, right? Yeah. I mean. I'm just gonna wait for him to ride up. I'm gonna, no, cause if I break, I'm gonna break from them. I'm gonna give them both another opportunity to attack, so that he can ride up to me uh, before that, so he doesn't have to ride away from them swinging at him. Ideally. Yeah, you really want to protect that fancy horse. And I yeah. want to protect our means of escaping. Yes. That okay. One is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen just hits. So you think these guys are going to follow you to the end of time? <coughs> well, they're on horse, they're on foot, and we're on the fastest horse I've ever seen. That's five damage. Okay, I take five damage. So, as I meet up with him, how far am I from them at this point? Uh, I mean, he can feet. move 35 feet, so you can, you'll be 35 feet away from them. Because you can, you can just get to him with 25 feet. Damn. Is he able to, like, use his action to, like, grab a hold of sure. me? To help me? I was, like, kind of hop on the side of the saddle and help pull well, myself up next time? How far am I from the edge of camp? You're getting, you're getting to the edge of camp. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it's, it's not what? right where this fighting took place. What it's I was going to do down. is, like, I was going to pull up. These are getting heavy. Cat. <laughs> I was gonna pull One up. One of them is a fucking drunk. <laughs> it's just got I'm a weak boy. I went, Poor I, Julius. My, my plan was I was gonna pull up, cast a spell to like stop him. You get on the horse and then we just go get the I fuck think out if of you body. just help pull me up and we ride, they can't catch us. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. Yeah, because I mean, we don't need to kill get, these guys. You can get to him with 25 feet of movement. That which leaves. leaves 
45 if, feet of movement. And I already took 35 away from them, so... Yeah, they, uh, they, 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 yeah, they can't... Um, it's like 80 feet they'd have to cover. They can't close that gap. They can't even dash to do that. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll pick them up and... We'll okay. That won't stop them. They'll chase you a few feet out. Mm -hmm. Um... But it, it's quickly apparent that, like, they have no hope of catching that horse. Um, Auto hoping... and Rabinesh! <laughs> okay, uh, you don't know how long it'll be before they manage to catch some of the cavalry horses? Um, <clears throat> so, we didn't, we didn't talk about a meetup. Well, we were going to meet back up where we, when we were talking to him, we talked about meeting back up where we were overlooking the camp. Uh, but, what I think the plan might be is... We, we don't know where where he is. Yeah. Uh, Last you heard, that was the meeting point. All right. I think we ride over near there and wait for him until we can't. You're going to be like... Okay, they are going to start sending patrols out into the desert. Okay. Essentially immediately. Um, so you're going to have to give me a stealth check. Okay. Um, once you're out of the camp. Okay. Um, give it a roll that or Wednesday. Roll it. Um, Once we get there, I am strapping my gear <laughs> back on in case they catch up to us. Twenty one. Um, <laughs> it's it's like it's yeah, it's just like it's just like but patrol coming like duck down, <laughs> like, keep going. Like you're just like you are dodging patrols. Like fuck, fuck. fuck. <laughs> you you're you're start. It's starting to reach a point where you're like <coughs> maybe I should have been a assassin. I should have been or a, a or a famous thief. <laughs> yeah. Banditry was the real trade I should have gone for. <laughs> the holy life is not for me. Look, 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 look at me. I'm so naturally suited for it. Um, and you guys are going to have to give me stealth checks if you want to try and keep your little meeting place. 18 for me? Oh, fuck. That's a ni niner for me. Niner? Um, but I, I uh, yeah, you know, I already rolled. It's, it, it's essentially kind of what it is, is like, as you guys are kind of keeping watch and as the minutes are ticking by, um, one of the times that you kind of come up to like sort of the crest of one of the dunes to like to see to, to see if like Azim's anywhere nearby um one of these patrols of like four soldiers spots you at that point i get on rapidash and i look at you and be like i'll meet you at the city and i take off okay i'll that's... stay tucked behind this dune and let him okay. run so that, like so i'll lead the patrol away okay. from you from are the you are um you are passed by soldiers who seem to mostly be following his tracks okay. to make sure that, like, he's actually leaving. They're on horse? Um, they're on foot. You don't know, but, like, there will be cavalry coming after you sooner or later. Right. I, I mean, our hiding place also has our wagon. Yeah, I, I, the, hence horses. why I took off, because... Yeah, they, like, cause it's harder to hide that. Uh, did, they seem, did they, like, seem pretty gung-ho on chasing him? They're, they're chasing the person that they saw. Yeah. Okay. Um... I, I think best that after you go, I'm going to get the horse with no name unhooked from okay. the wagon. The other horse with the wagon that just has empty barrels in it at this point, I'm going to slap on the ass and have him kind of slowly trundle away in a different direction. Is that my horse? No, your horses was separate. You guys were riding your horses, and then we had a random horse with my horse with no name. For, for the right. carriage. Didn't we? Oh. I or did we so. use your horse? I don't, we never said we used your yeah. horse. And then I'm just going to keep my horse and his horse because I don't think the wagon's going to do it. As much as I like the idea of you just sl <laughs> slapping, slapping his, his horse on the ass <laughs> and send it out into the. Uh, uh, so that I can uh, be like ready to go with our horses to whatever he okay. nearby. He will. Uh, it, it, you, you seem to wait uncomfortably long uh, before he shows up, but he does show up. There. I'm going to kill the yeah, scene. I'm going to make a <laughs> beeline for the, the city. Because that's the the city that's under siege. The or, city that's under siege. Or how far are we out from the city that's under siege? Is surrounded by. Uh, yeah, you'd uh, have to ride back camp. to the camp. Oh, you said we'd meet at the city, right? Yeah. So I would. I assumed you meant back at the capital. <laughs> like uh, weeks up north. Weeks yeah. east. 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 I I don't know. I said meet you at the city. I was assuming like that's what I assumed. That's yeah. You you go where you go. We can't make it to the city under siege, so... Mm -hmm. Also, traveling through the desert now is a lot easier. I'm like, no difficult to read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was there a city close by that... 
we there came would from? be cities close by, but like was there one that we came from specifically that that like that got us? Not cities. Not, yeah, not Those necessarily. Villages. Like the um, or was there a village somewhere? Yeah, the last somewhere city. specific that we could just the be like. Check you point. said let's meet at the city, so you go where you think that is, and I'll go where I think that is. <laughs> we have split the party. <laughs> And told a better story because of it. Exactly. I highly recommend the video about <laughs> splitting the, the party. <laughs> do, do it. <coughs> That's funny. Uh, when he eventually crests the hill, I'm going to be on my horse, holding the reins of his with a blade in hand, and be like, fuck, you can't go. God, get on. We gotta go. Pretty sure they're not following me. Oh, they're all over. Get on your horse. Okay. <laughs> they're not following you. They're following me. Oh. That last spear wound got me good. Ugh. We gotta ride. I can't Did you get you. my burlap sack? Yeah, got both. Right. <laughs> There's something good in here, I can feel it. <laughs> uh, I'll ride to whatever village south, like, wherever closest we came, direction we came from, I'll ride till okay. I run into a village there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the, you guys did, like, drop off the last the like documents you took off okay you that, the doc them. where we dropped off the documents that's the city i'm going to. okay i i mean we'll probably have to ride through that city but i'm assuming we're meeting back at the capital <laughs> and <laughs> trying to make it back there could ride through that village like <laughs> you, you could follow roads and ride through that village or you could cut cross country and head straight back in the direction I mean, time is of the essence. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, folks! <laughs> oh. I tell you, he said we'd meet back at the city. We gotta get to the capital. We'll meet him. We'll meet Wolf there. It sounds pretty easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be literally the Aragorn showing up like at Hell's Deep. Like, on my own. The, yeah, but, it, but it's the throwing open the door, except you don't see anybody. And then it pans down, and he stumbles in drunk, because he's been doing four gallons of beer a day. Oh, yeah, he still has his Sun, Sunburned and drunk. Oh, can I say that I strapped the stone line to the back of my horse sure. and didn't send it off? Sure. Uh, totally fine. Okay, you can take the stone line out of the I line. need my stone line still. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good place to end it for now. Oh, shit. I need to write down chest of really good stuff. <laughs> I'll just remember important documents. <laughs> Well, that blew up in our faces, but somehow I survived. They didn't even I, give me below half. I thing. think that went really well, guys. <laughs> Until it really didn't. Man, I assassinated the fuck out of that dude, and then some dude saw me do it, and it was like, <coughs> "Guess I'll die." <laughs> Guess I'll die. <laughs> oh damn, 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 damn! I just looked at him in the street. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the idea of like the camera looks left and right, like wondering where the fuck were you? <laughs> <laughs> I waited that time. I waited for four days. <laughs> Maybe three. I <laughs> thought you died. <laughs> like, I've been there for years. It's been like two weeks. Too. <laughs> yeah, same four way. gallons of beer will do that. <laughs> A day. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> how, how quickly could I make it back to the capital on Rapidash? Um, a little faster than we make it. It's but still, it's still gonna. Be, it's you. You cut a couple of days off that travel time for sure. Because I don't have to wait for anybody. Um, <laughs> it's almost like a day. Well, they did. <laughs> um, yeah, they did. But yeah, there's. Yeah, you. Well, where do I go? I have to back to the capital. <laughs> <laughs> You say closely inspect those empty barrels. One of them will have very slight poison residue at the bottom. It'll be like, how many barrels of poison did they use? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything's poison. We have to trash it off. It they, is they, extreme, they, they, it's going to be extremely delicious <coughs> when they find a wagon full of empty, empty barrels. <laughs> can I can I roll a percentile to see how much of the cavalry was lost? Um, no. Uh, I mean, their horses are scattered far and wide. They'll be able to collect them, but it's going to take like, Wait, I hear movement, and yeah, that's another one of our horses. Uh, All the way out here. Yeah, they're going to be like, we found horse tracks, again! Uh, we think it's one of ours, though, and, and not one of the saboteurs. We no can't was on it, so... I thought we could get to the city under siege, that's what I meant. Uh, well... 
<laughs> nope. <laughs> you said that, and you're like, oh, oh, God damn it, I said that, but no, he'll know. It's the next village. That's what we'll do. That's the logical conclusion. We gotta make it to the capital. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Um, that was a blast. That was a good session. Uh, awesome. Come, um, horse with no name. Show us the meaning of haste. <laughs> um, if On the seventh in, day, look to the yeah. east. <laughs> there will, there'll be a drunk dwarf on a really, really fast horse. You just need to learn to wrap that thing around. Hold on. Well, no, it's your horse. So it's, yeah. it's your horse. Yeah. Of course. Show us the meaning of haste. Yeah. Well, of course I'll show you the meaning of haste. <laughs> Please do. Not show, I'm sorry. If you're interested in this kind of thing, we've got a lot of very similar so content um, uh, across a whole variety of systems. Um, we have fun here. That's all we really want to That's do. Want to it's do. an excuse to have fun. Mm -hmm. um, as well as just, uh, I mean, reviews and uh, one shots and uh, all, all, sorts of, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> we got it. Uh, Jerry's currently running a Star uh, Wars oh no. uh, Republic Command. Oh no, I'm dying. Thing. Did you have um, any of the stew? <laughs> Don't have some Republic um, which, uh, which has been uh, a lot of fun. Oh, that is a, another cast of just um, <laughs> real cast of characters. <laughs> I'm playing Tercy. Uh, that's one. <laughs> Um, so once again, thank you everybody so much for watching, and oh. we'll see you in the next one. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>